preparing. Okay, so um, good morning, friends, in uh, YouTube and later on to Facebook. Okay. So this is uh, okay, so um, this is uh, good morning, friends, uh, in uh, YouTube. Uh, Broad, and we're broadcasting later on to, to Facebook, uh, the world. So this okay. is uh, okay. so and, uh, um, our topic this is, uh, is good morning, friends. Uh, in how to manage uh, your child later on to, to Facebook, uh, the and, world. Uh, so this is uh, okay. so uh, with us uh, this morning. Is, uh, is, uh, good morning, friends. In how to manage your child later on to Facebook. Uh, the is, world. Uh, so this is uh, from Anthony uh, California. Uh, uh, good morning, friends. Uh, 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 Amy, can you hear me? Amy, Amy, can you hear me? The world. So this is uh, Amy. Joy, let me make more. Good morning, friends. Amy, can you hear me? Let me make more. Joy, Amy, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, much better for feedback. Oh, okay. Ayan, ayan, ayan. 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 Okay. Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Right. Amy, can you hear me? Okay. Sige. Okay. So, uh, special guest for this morning is a special education teacher from Antioch, California. My one and only brother, <laughs> si Joey Kumagun. Okay, Joey Kumagun. And uh, he. Um, his, this is his uh, expertise, no? how to manage your children with special needs. Okay, so uh, I finally call my brother Oi Boy. <laughs> Oi Boy, mm -hmm. okay. uh, you have uh, 10 to 15 minutes for your presentation, and then the rest of the hour, you will have, you'll spend it for question and answer. Okay. Okay. Sige. Oh boy, Sige. the floor is yours. Oh boy. Sounds good. Oh, so, uh, well, uh, good morning sa inyong lahat dyan. At uh, I'm so happy to see and uh, be with you and see all of you. And hopefully uh, someday soon I would get a chance to uh, meet, uh, meet uh, everyone in person. So salamat. Uh, salamat for tuning in actually, uh, uh, especially for, for this topic. You know, just a little bit of background. Uh, about myself, uh, so uh, I did start teaching so Philippines uh, as a general education teacher as a Miriam College uh, High School, and then and then me and my late wife uh, we had a chance to actually move to the United States, and uh, my late wife was a um, had a master's degree in special education. And she started teaching the, the states on special ed, and that's when I actually switched to uh, special education. So, uh, so for the last 21 years, I've been teaching special ed, uh, the states. So, uh, so, some of my experiences actually range from uh, young kids, uh, kinder to third grade, and uh, all the way up to high school level. And currently, ang tinuturo ang ko ngayon is mga older high school students. Uh, these states, they are considered, uh, we call them post-transition. So in other words, uh, after high school, uh, they are eligible for another four years of uh, special, special education, so courtesy of the public school. Um, so, and then I, will, I could tell you a little bit more about uh, our curriculum, uh, but in general, uh, um, special curriculum namin is geared towards uh, community living, community skills, life skills, employment skills. Um, so yeah, uh, that's a little bit of my background. And then Siguro maybe it's a question and answer portion, we could be a little bit more detailed. Um, so how to manage, before I forget, I will, I will screen share. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let me know too if this is, can be seen by everyone. Like, uh -huh. Not that one. So don't share yung gonna go up. Okay. Present pala. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. 
screen share. Okay, so um, you know, uh, you know, while I'm trying to do this, lately, dito kami sa states, we've been learning how to do online learning. Uh, so this Zoom is particularly new for me, but so we had to crash learn it. <laughs> do Zoom. Okay, so screen share, desktop. All right. Okay, see. Are you able to see my screen? It's all boy, visible chat. Okay, all right, okay. So and then present. Uh, kamusta na? Nakikita niyo yung screen ko? Ako, yes, yes. oi oh boy. Kita. Everyone, yeah. everyone see you the, my screen? Yes, oi oh boy. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, no? siya. Before I forget, I need to time myself. No, make sure that uh, okay, wrong time. So we'll have more time for questions. Okay, so um, I, let me invite everyone to really focus on the slideshow because this will be our guide for tonight. I mean, for, to, for this morning. And um, and then this could be also be a basis for your questions later. Um, and then if you are taking notes, uh, don't worry because I might have to go a little fast. If you need the slideshow, I can always send it to my brother, and uh, my brother can always forward to you. So uh, just just go for now. Just sit back and relax and enjoy. Uh, uh, listen and then uh, be ready with your questions. So I think we can uh, we can learn more from uh, our interaction later. Okay, so I. Medyo binago ko yung title natin, how to support your child with special needs. Um, so um, just to just to show to our ch children with special needs that, that uh, you know we care about them. I think first and foremost is um, you know we're not really in control of their lives. You know, in as much as they are. They need us, you know, and as much as they're, in a way, helpless and in, in, you know, in many ways, but uh, they really have uh, their, uh, they're, they're empowered. We want to empower them, but uh, given the situation that they're in, because our world is really built for people with abilities, uh, and they have different abilities, in uh, how do we make them successful in life? So in a world of full, you know, built really not for them. So how can we support children with special needs? The way I want to picture it is like a trip planner. So, so let's say kung meron kang biyaheng pupuntahan, you know, uh, you, this is where you are right now and where would you want to go? <clears throat> Let me start with the story. I'm going to call him Bert. Sa uh, kasulukuyan, is 60 years old. Now, he has epilepsy since birth. So, the problem with him basically is that he has seizures. So, every time he has seizures, he has collapse, uh, and he has convulsions. And then sometimes uh, he ha needs to be taken to a hospital. So, depending on how big the seizure is. So, growing up, he, he had this the whole, the whole time. So, up to, up to now, at six years old, he has seizures. Uh, at the young age, it was very difficult to care for. So health problems, niya. at the same time, he had mga behavior problems. At the same time, too, uh, growing up, he wanted to travel by himself. He was angry at his friends who were going to go to the hospital, but he didn't do that. Now, his parents niya basically didn't know what to do. So what did we do with Bert? And this was uh, when he was younger. So. Let's let's look at the uh, good. Let's keep put the uh, bird situation in the back of my mind right now, and then let's see what we can do. So let's look at this uh, talk for now, like a trip planner. So let's. Uh, this is where we are right now, and in current location, and then okay? and think about your child or think about your situation. Where are, where are we right now? Your present levels, and this is where we want to go. I think destination is not important. So some of the things that we need to think about is yung present levels. So think about your child at the moment. Um, what are his strengths? No? So right now, ngayon, ano yung mga preferences niya? Ano yung mga interests niya? No? Like I said in the beginning, kasi alam natin kung sino siya, sino yung, uh, sino yung bata. Uh, and, and they're just like us too. Meron din tayong mga strengths. Meron tayong mga preferences. Meron tayong mga interests. So, 
Halimbawa gusto mahilig ba siyang tatakbong, mahilig ba siyang mag-basketball, o mahilig ba siya siguro nasa bahay, mag-intern, 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 mag
it's it's very hard, very 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 stressful. Um, now, that's our that ito yung ating current present levels. Ito yung current location natin. Ngayon sa nating gusto ng pumunta, yeah, yung ating destination. Now, very important is yung three areas of what I call transition. Itong transition ibig sabihin is parang parang tulay, you know. So andito siya ngayon, paano mo siya maaparating dun sa kabila? Uh, sa destination niya. Uh, at the same time, pwede mo rin tingnan to parang crystal ball. You know? So imagine yourself right now, imagine your child right now, let's say five years from now, and maybe push it farther, maybe like 10 years from now, or 20 years from now. How do you picture your child? Now, this is very important for you parents and also for advocates too. Because sometimes, and I've seen this a lot, Pagdating ng yung bata, pagdating ng age na mas, mas may edad na siya, let's say in his 20s, um, hindi na alam na magulang kung nang gagawin nila. No? Paano ngayon to? At the same time, kayo mga parents, tumatanda rin kayo, tayo. No? At some point, humihina na rin katawan natin. So, hindi yung mga data natin, natin pwede natin magawa ngayon, hindi natin pwede magawa 20 years uh, uh, from now. No? So, uh, think of parang crystal ball. So, ano yung tatlong areas na yun na Right now, I encourage the parents to think about it. Ano yung mga education goal mo para sa mga ano? Ay gusto yung ba siya makatapos ng college? Gusto yung, or, or high school is good enough? Or vocational? So ano yung, ano yung plan niyo para sa kanya in terms of education? Ano yung pwede pa niyang matutunan? Ano yung pwede pa niyang uh, makamit in, ter in terms of uh, you know, schooling? Okay? Uh, second, yung employment. May kakayahan ba siya magtrabaho? And, and, and then, of course, anong klaseng trabaho kaya niya? Uh, it, you know, ito, ba yung, ito bang trabaho na ito is enough to support himself? Uh, or maybe later on, maybe even a family. Okay? So, ano yung kaya niya in terms of employment? At the same time, kung, uh, kung he's so, he so much, um, paano kung hindi siya pwedeng magtrabaho no? at all? No? So, then still think about that. No? Uh, you dream for your child at isipin niyo pa rin kung ano yung niyo magawa. Uh, and then, the third one is yung independent living goal. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, yung mga parents, hindi na tayo, you know, hindi tayo living forever with them. And this is, a, this is a, a, a fact of life. Uh, even, even, even for your, even for children without disabilities, uh, they have to be, they have to be, we have to see them, uh, uh, let them find their place in the sun. Ngayon, for, now it's a little bit, it's a lot more challenging for uh, parents with special needs, parents with children with special needs. Uh, how do you picture them living their life, uh, their disability? So, uh, in this part, I put in some important part, uh, uh, marker here. Parents are very instrumental in decision making. You are the, at this point, especially if your child is under 18, siguro kung merong major or minor age yung bata, no? you are, you're, deci you're making decisions for your child right now. Kung ano man ang gawin yung decision right now is very important, it will have an effect on the future sa, ba sa anak. And then also, legally, you're also uh, accountable. So kung ano man yung mga decision yung ngayon, baka mamaya balikan kayo kung, you know, kung meron kayong mga ginagawa o nakalimutang gawin o nakalimutang gawin. So, uh, uh, put, that, uh, put that in your, the back of your mind too. No? That's very important that you have to consider too. Right now, you're, import, you're making important decisions. Even as you're imagining uh, what's, what's best for your child, it's, it's, it's important that you really consider to, uh, you know, a lot of the different factors that might affect your, your children. But at the same time, also, it's okay to dream. It's okay to really... Uh, uh, look far ahead in the future. Another important thing that you need to consider here is your assessment data. So when you're, you're, when you're, when you're looking at the goals and deciding on, uh, and then thinking about the goals for your, for your child, it has to be, it has to be data driven. Uh, I wanna say siguro in Dinaman it has, but it's, 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 uh, it's, uh, um, it's very helpful if it's data driven. Uh, so, nabawa kung meron mga as forms of assessment, career assessment, you know, uh, let's say, uh, it's a uh, help uh, when, when your child goes to school, asan siya academically, you know, you know uh, ano yung kakayahan niya, ano yung aptitude niya for uh, certain subject areas, math, 
reading. Uh, and then, of course, yung gross motor niya, how, yung progress niya yan, how, how, how long will it take for him to improve his, uh, his uh, mobility? Uh, and then, uh, uh, let's say, uh, yung speech niya, no? let's say he can only, the child can only say maybe like one utterance, uh, you know, uh, right now, ibig sabihin, opo, 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 hindi po, yun lang sasabi niya. So how long would it take for him to say maybe one sentence? Yeah. So ito, it has to be based on data. So para ma-project nyo, basically, okay, you know, kaya ba niya? You know, in 10 years, kaya ba yung ko? In 10 years, ba kaya makakalakat ba yung anak ko? No? In, in 10 years, kaya makapagtrabaho ba yung anak ko? So based it on data. No? Hindi lang pwede rin hula-hula. Make sure you're also your data is also given. So again, this is your destination. Okay? Saan yung gustong pumunta? Saan yung gustong ma ma makarating yung anak niyo? Okay, now let's look at the ways. Okay? So ito yung mga paraan, ito yung mga ways natin. So let's say, look at this picture right now here. You have here your, uh, uh, your, uh, where your current location and this is your destination. Some basic guidelines to support your child. Okay, number one, parents. Uh, this is for your sanity, parents. You, know, you try to divide the day into three parts, which is pretty much home, school, chaka sleep. You know, I know we used the word earlier about management. Uh, important thing I say to to chunk them and to put them in parts. Because if you're gonna think about the whole day, misan maluloka kayo, buong araw. Misan misan nga mabuti meron kay counting breaks and some some meron kay support system to help your your child. Now, uh, at least uh, just in your mind, just uh, um, divide the day into three parts. You know, yung sa bahay, sa school niya, at saka yung sa rest. Now, um, maybe this is also an issue for some parents kasi yung mga bata hirap makatulog uh, or, um, or <laughs> ayaw matulog. No? Uh, or health-wise, hindi talaga makatulog or baliktad ang araw niya. You know, so the biggest thing, <laughs> tapos sa umaga tulog. Yun, nahirap yan para sa parents sa nagatrabaho. Kasi ngayon, puyat siya. Kasi kailangan niya nga si kusuhin yung kailangan ng bata pagdating sa tabi. Na, na kung kailan, kailangan makatulog yung bata. So, uh, uh, at least i-chunk niyo yung, ano, yung araw ninyo kung paano niyo pwedeng uh, i-manage uh, masuporta niyo ng mga bata. Now, this, itong part na ito yung school. So, um, this might be also a important decision for the for the parents, I'm not sure at this point kung sino yung mga batang may access sa school. Sino yung nakakapasok sa schoolahan ng mga uh, sa sa panakitubig na yon. Ilang bata ang nasa schoolahan at ilang bata ang uh, well, ang, ang di nakakapasok sa schoolahan for whatever reason. But it's been very important na na merong merong education component yung anak ninyo sa ngayon. Whether it's gonna be in a school setting or sa bahay or we can call it homeschooling. Now, at the same time, uh, also think about yung construct natin ng school. No? Kasi school, pag naisip natin yung academics, the basic ones, math, reading, uh, uh, social studies, history. So you can also think about school as just as, as, as learning, as education for, uh, for skills. No? Siguro baka mamaya may kakayahan siyang mahil pala siyang mag ano sa kotse ganun. Uh, and then at, at kung hindi siya nakakapasok sa eskwelahan pero you know mayroon siyang interest in this area that, that, that that's a potential for also for learning for education. But then of course we always want if the, the younger the students start them off with the basic education. So that's number 1. Parents divide your day into three parts. Number 2. Uh, to truly change behavior, appropriate behavior must be fo must follow these uh, four important things. No, the behavior must be taught. Um, madalas kung marinig kasi minsan uh, sa mga uh, sa mga magulang is yung uh, dapat alam na niya yan. So uh, you can't you can't expect the child to master uh, something very quickly, especially for a child with special needs. Uh, one of the things that's really uh, effective is repetition. Yeah? So, kung kung nasabi niyo isang beses, uh, ex 
hanggat wala siyang mastery, hanggat din yung nakikita pa ulit-ulit na ginagawa ng anak niya yung skill na yun, baka hindi pa niya na master So, kailangan maturo, maturo, no? maturo. Now, the second one is modeling. Uh, kung meron kayong expectations sa anak niyo, dapat kayo din gina, ginagawa niyo rin yun. At dapat, kasi mas alam natin kahit, sabihin natin kahit hindi sila masyadong um, mabilis sa pag- uh, 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 pagtuto ng ilang mga skills pero but they're very perceptive in other words lahat ng senses na nakikita nila naririnig nila na store lahat din yan sa memory nila no? so uh, and, and then at the same time uh, uh, modeling too is also a good uh, way to teach uh, kids with special needs no number one it's visual kasi nakikita nila you know tapos number two, tinuturo mo mismo sa kanila, pinapakita mo, mga, mga prompting mo, hand over hand, basically. Even the most basic social skill, para siyang, ano, para siyang, minsan, para siyang, para kang coach, no? para kang uh, sport coach. Kung tuturo mo yung bata mag-shoot ng basketball, eh, lahat ng ano, pati yung forma, yung kamay, saan, isang part, gano'ng kalakas, tuturo mo yan, tapos paulit-ulit, paulit-ulit. So, and then, uh, that's pa Ayan, the third part is yung practicing. No? So it has to be repeat, important many times. Yung ano, over time, many times ang, uh, pag, ang, pag, ang pagbigay ng opportunity for your child to practice it. And then lastly, yung acknowledgement. Ngayon, kapag nagawa ng bata yung expected, expected behavior mo, palakpakan, bigyan siya ng reward, be happy, show really how much you acknowledge and appreciate kapag uh, kapag nakagawa ng ano ng uh, isang bagay yung bata na, na expected mo yung behavior na expected mo really acknowledge show acknowledgement um, okay so number two these are the four ways no to truly change the behavior number three use positive wording no okay um, Importante na yung ano yung uh, when you let's say state some rules uh, for your child it has to say it in the positive so for example let's say um uh, uh, let's say I'm just uh, one example say ay mo siyang tumakbo sa kalsada o alibawa naglalakad kay papunta kay sa tindahan you know bata mahilig tumakbo ganun so uh, ang tendency natin is to say the bat the bat uh, is uh, wag kang tatakbo bawal tumakbo Uh, say that posit in a positive way. It's, ano yung gusto mong gawin ng bata? Ay, alam mo, ayaw mo siyang tumakbo, pero yun yung gusto mong gawin niya. So, siguro gusto mo siyang maglakad. Okay. So, yun, and then ang sabihin mo is, maglakad ka. Okay. So, um, state the rule in the positive. What is the expected behavior? Uh, then here is, uh, now, when you actually have to say no okay, to a child, Merong, merong gusto yung bata o may ginagawa yung bata, pinagbabawalan mo and then you have to say no. Give the reason why. Um, uh, ipaliwanag mo sa kanya kung ano yung rational mo kung bakit ayaw mong uh, gawin ng bata yung, uh, yung, uh, yung behavior na yun. Um, uh, and then be consistent about it too. No? Na, you know, kung, uh, alimbawa, kasi sabi natin may gusto yung batang ipabili pero ayaw mo And then, bakit ayaw mo? Hindi lang sa dahil ayaw mo, pero ano yung dahilan mo kung bakit sa ayaw mo? Kasi sabihin mo, marami ka ng laruan eh. Okay? So, uh, hindi mo, yung, yung laruan na yan, mag, mal, malalaro mo pa sa pagdating sa bahay. Okay? So, bigay mo yung dahilan. Now, and then last one, catch the good behaviors. Now, dito yung ratio. Uh, and then this is, I really highly encourage uh, the parent you know, to do a 5 to 1 ratio. Madalas kasi, sanay tayo, at ang bata minsan sanay na kagad, huwag mong gawin dyan, huwag tumigil ka dyan, umalis ka dyan. You know, lahat ng mga no, you know, lahat ng mga bawal, ito yung na- madali nating pansinin. Uh, balik ta rin natin ng konti yun and then let's focus on the positive. No? Oh, buti nakaupo ka. Ganun. Uy, hindi mo ginalaw yung 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 uh, baso, for example. Ganun. Oh, thank you. Pin- piniwanan mo lang mag-isa. Ganun. So, catch the good behaviors. No? Um, And then, five is to one ratio. Kung pwede lang, bantayan nyo na mabuti na yung mga gandang behaviors niya. And then, every time na meron siyang magandang behavior, throw a party, kumbaga. Kasi mag-celebrate ka every time. And ma-associate ng bata yung, 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 ano, yung positive reinforcement ng tawag every time meron siyang gustong behavior. No? 
Okay, so uh, siguro a good example here is, is uh, I want to say is um, yung parang kasi minsan yung guided missile and going back to the saying, no, yung, uh, yung guided missile daw, you know, when you launch a missile tapos medyo malayo, the way it works is uh, minsan actually basta lang umiitsya yung missile eh. but then every time you say you, you, you say something to the missile, nag-guide siya kung saan siya kailangang punta. Hindi dyan, hindi dyan, dito ka pupunta, dito ka pupunta, hindi dyan, hindi dyan, hanggat ma-hit na yung target. So number three, use positive wording. Okay, now let's look at some of the steps. Okay, some of the steps uh, the, to support your child. Okay. okay, number one, decide on expectations. What, ano yung behavior na gusto mong para sa anak mo? No? So uh, choose about three to five clear expectations. So let's say, for example, uh, gusto ko yung bat anak ko respectful, maging safe, you know, showing self-control. Uh, and then, and then uh, choose. So, marami tayong expectations. Pero for for the for for the moment, current situation, just through about choose about three to five. So, it will depend on the age and child. You know, yung mga. And these are some examples. And then we create a behavior matrix. Okay, and I'm going to show you an example. Okay. So here, uh, uh, let's say ito yung tatlong expected expected behaviors. Be kind, be responsible, be safe. And up here, ilang, sa mga, ilang mga situations. No? Now, here is very specific. Yeah? So, when you say be kind, ibig sabihin ito, I use kind words. Okay? Opo, salamat po, pahingi po. Yun ang expectations. Okay? So, ngayon, like I said, going back earlier, iti-teach nyo ito. Ito, kapag umaga, ang sasabihin mo ay magandang umaga po, ay pwede po ba akong uh, tulungan sa ganito? Yan. Okay. So, it's specific. Now, and then, of course, here, uh, let's say, ito pa ibang mga examples. Let's say, being safe. Kagaya ng example kanina, state it positively. Let's walk to the bathroom. Here, uh, arriving, arriving home from school. Again, ano yung example ng be kind of behavior? Bumati ka sa magulang mo kung ito, ito yung gusto mong mangyari, and then be specific. Okay? So here are some more examples. Put your backpack away, be pagiging responsible, opening the door gently, okay? pagiging safe. You know? Another uh, situation, doing chores, checking schedule. Okay? I, I want to say a little bit about something this in a minute. Okay? Homework time, ask for help without crying. Okay? So again, specific, and then in a certain uh, a specific situation. Meal times, Give compliments to the cook. This is an example of being kind, the behavior of being kind. Meal time for your safety, chew your food slowly. Papakita nyo rin yung dapat yun, exactly kung paano yung, ano yung paano gagawin. And then siguro another example is getting ready for bed. Uh, brush your teeth without being asked. Alam mo yung mga anak natin, mga special needs, misan nagiging dependent sila sa sinasabi natin. Eh, you know? So ano, hindi sila magkikilos hanggat hindi tayo ang nag-prompt o nag nagsimula. We don't want that kasi nagiging dependent sila doon sa kung pag sinabi natin doon lang sila kikilos. So this one takes uh, some, uh, again, some behavior training too. You know? So, um, uh, okay, check your schedule. Uh, so I want to say here very quickly is that kailangan yung araw ng bata very structured. You know? And then, um, you know, misan siguro sabihin natin, eh, yung, yung ginagawa ng mga bata sa school, ano na, masyado ng structured. Tapos pagdating sa bahay, structured pa. You know, believe it or not, uh, especially the young children, they actually strive in structure. Um, right, sabihin natin na ano na ayaw nila o na rebelde sila sa structure. But believe it or not, kapag nasanay sila sa structure, they will they will they will feel more secure. They will feel uh, a little bit uh, more independent, as a matter of fact, you know? and they will feel more calm. Um, so, provided structure in the beginning, it's hard. On the you know from the perspective of the 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 the, the, the child you know, but in the end they actually will appreciate you for providing that structure. Okay? Ang mga bata wala pa silang kakayahan developmentally to decide on their own, especially for, for children with special needs. And then the parent here's the parent that come the, here's where the parent comes in. Na kailangan ito yung expectation clear. Yeah. Okay, moving on number two. Uh, Steps to support the child. Number two, involve your family and whole family in the in the in decision making. So, kanina binanggit ko yung mga ano yung mga uh, expectations. 
Isama niyo yung buong pamilya kasi ang alam mo yung yung tutulong sa pag-implement niyan really is the whole family. Um, uh, you know, hindi kasi pwede like si mama, pwede kay daddy, hindi pwede. No. Problema 'yan. So dapat it's a whole family in, in agreement with the expectations, no? Uh, and then also involve your child. Now, also just a just a important thing here, it's your expected ex behaviors, no? You, the parent, no? ito yung gusto mo. Kahit sabihin ng bata, ito yung gusto ko because your child is a minor, because your child is, of course, uh, 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 in the formative stage, you, the parent, will be the one to uh, step your foot down. No? Ito yung gusto ko mangyari. Uh, but still involve them. No? Ibig sabihin, tanongin nyo rin sila kahit, kahit yung gusto nila ay iba sa'yo, ikaw pa rin ang masusunod. Okay? And now explain again the positive reinforcement as well as consequences. So this is to, needs to be clear too. So kanimbawa, kung ginawa ng anak niyo yung, just very quickly, babalikan ko yung behavior matrix. Kung halimbawa, ginawa niya itong uh, pag-brush ng teeth niya uh, na hindi mo sinasabi, ano yung makukuha niya? Ano yung makakamit niya doon? So now, it, it, this is really building behavior. No? Hindi naman yung, hindi pa unti yunti. And and then event in this ah in this ah it's not called bribery too, no? Because eventually if you fade out new yon eh, yung yung uh, reward system. Uh, before you know it, it's automatically reinforcing na sa bata. Even walang reward, gagawin gagawin niya yon. Pero in the beginning, when you're shaping behavior, reinforce, reinforce, reinforce. No? So very clear dapat ani yung mag may ma earn ng bata every time that the child uh forms the desired behavior. As well as, kailangan nyo din sabihin yung consequences. Kung hindi niya ginawa, ano yung mangyayari? Dapat clear. That's that's number, okay. Actually, I'm going to explain that in a little bit. I kind of explained already number three, positive reinforcement. Important that you consistently provide. Okay? Dapat, uh, kaya maganda rin nakasulat kasi mas mo kayo, nag-guide kayo. Eh, no? So, and then, very consistent in providing the reinforcement. Kung halimbawa, You know, at some point, natigil yung reinforcement, hindi mag-maintain, hindi mag-maintain yung behavior na gusto nyo para sa mga bata. Medyo maglalag yun. Again, it's, kasi it's really your, your, your teaching the child, you know. It's shape nyo yung behaviors ng bata. And then also have, yan, okay, have a clear system of rewards. No? So, misan, you can post it on the wall. Ito yung behavior, ito yung reward. Makikita rin niya yung, ano, yung visual. Let's say, you know, let's say, is it a new toy? ito kapag na, na, kapag nagawa mo to ilang beses ito yung makukuha mo na ano na, na reward niya so nakikita niyang nagpo-progress yung kanyang ano yung kanyang uh, yung kanyang behavior towards uh, something uh, you know big so have it's, it's got it's, it needs to be clear okay um, okay number four yung consequences ngayon very important so, so again parents you need to stay calm when problem behavior occurs at kasi mag, mangyayari at mangyayari no <laughs> susumpungin yung bata, hindi ka susundin, lahat ng problema uh, na ayaw mo mangyari, mangyari at mangyari. It is expected too. But it's important for the parent to stay calm. Kahit maggalit ka on your own uh, mom and dad, is that huwag kang maggalit sa bata, pero maggalit ka dun sa behavior. No? So you're pointing out the behavior kasi that's why you need to explain too, kaya ayaw mo yun. Pero But of course, mahal mo pa rin yung anak mo. Ang ayaw mo yung behavior na yon. Pero yung behavior na yon, mag, pwedeng mabago yun eh. Pero yung importante din, mag-value niyo yung anak mo na mahal pa rin kita kahit ito yung, nangay, ito yung ginagawa mo ngayon, pero mahal pa rin kita. Pero kailangan natin, kailangan natin ma-change ano, ma, ma itong behavior. Ito. By the way, just a real quick word is here. Yung behavior kasi, it's, a, it's, a, it's an important thing kasi yung anak niyo for sure lalabas yan sa community eh. So a lot of the behaviors, ayaw nyo ring makita na mapahiya yung anak nyo sa, sa community. Ayaw nyo ring mapakita siguro maging, magkaroon ng magkaproblema yung anak nyo sa community. So this is very critical too on your part too na, ano, na, 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 na mapakita nyo rin na, 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 na ma-address ma, ma, ma yung behavior at the same time ma-value nyo pa rin. Okay, so kapag, berong, kapag hindi sumunod yung bata, get, uh, take it as an opportunity to reteach. No? Pagkakataon nyo itong balikan yung kanyang mga expected behaviors. Uh, again, it's just baseline information. 
kung hindi kung hindi pa naman master ng battery behavior then kailangan siguro ulitin niyo yung lesson kumbaga ano any expectation and then and then finally give the appropriate consequence so this will differ for every for every parent you know um, and then we, maybe you can discuss this a little bit uh, more later kung ano yung mga acceptable consequences all right let's go back to bert you know so si bert Six years old child, tulad ng sabi natin kanina, and meron siyang epilepsy since birth. Right now, actually, uh, independent na yung si Burst. You know what? He actually can travel by himself. He says, among story niya really is was a back and forth between him and the parents. Parents were really worried for him to be traveling by himself. Kasi epileptic nga siya. Kasi habang mami, habang nag-ano siya, habang nagta-travel siya, bigla siyang magkaroon ng, ep- ng seizure, anong, mang, anong mangyayari sa kanya? Okay. Uh, constant worrying ng mga ng, ano, ng, ng, ng parent. Masyado siyang na-shelter ngayon ng, ano, ng, mga, ng, 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 ano, ng parent. Na to a point na nagiging dependent lang siya ngayon kung ano yung sabihin ng mga parents. But they also, the parent, the, 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 the bird also wants to travel eventually. Yung mo paunti-unti, paunti-unti from like from nakasakay siya sa kotse. Okay? So ang gagawin sa kanya, imbis na oh, the whole way sasakay siya sa kotse, i-drop off siya sa malapit sa ano muna. Malay, sabihin natin paunti-unti. So say, let's say from point A to point B. So let's say ano yun, say one, let's say, say two kilometers. It drop off shop ng 1.8 kilometers, tapos lalakarin niya in the rest. And then, unti nito, 1.5, tapos 0.5, tapos the, the next time around, nilalakad na niya yung buo na yun. So, paunti-unti, yung bata ay natututong maging independent. At the same time, later on, gusto niyang mas malayo. That, two kilometers lang. Ngayon, gusto pa niyang talagang ano, 100 kilometers. Yeah, so, natuto siyang sumakay ng bus. So, again, paunti-unti na yung natutunan din yun. So, na may kasama siya. Tapos yung kasama niya, uh, basically kasama niya, um, hindi na siya sinasama niya sa, sa bus, sinusundan lang sa kotse. So may support system din siya, but uh, 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 very systematic yung approach. And you know what, right now, si Bert, kabisado niya lahat ng mga directions. No? So schedule ng bus, schedule ng train, uh, kaya na niyang gawin. So as a matter of fact, si, si Bert, dito, at this, he lives in he a state, the states merong mga yung yung train kasi travels on time eh memorize na niya yon memorize niya sa bawat araw sa bawat uh, oras o maga sa gabi kabisa na kabisado niya yon no? kasi pinag-aralan niya talaga ng mabuti at the same time ngayon yung mga magulang niya very proud of him buhay pa yung magulang niya at 60 years old na siya pero buhay pa yung magulang niya uh, they're very proud of him so it took a while pero naabot din ng bata yung kanyang ano yung kanyang uh, yung kanyang uh, pangarap no? hindi naging madali pero posible okay? so and with that i would like to open the uh, uh, floor for questions at tingnan natin kung ano pang ibang mga kwento na pwedeng marinig natin from your from the from the audience Hello po, hello. Okay, the, the floor is now open for questions. Who, who would yes, like sir. to ask? Sir Joey. Sino? Yes. Sir Joey. Sino to? Sino? Please identify si, yourself. Uh, si Arturo po, Kunanan. Arturo, uh, please show your camera. Please show your camera, uh, Arturo. Teka lang po, ah. Okay uh, po. Yeah, yeah po. Uh, my daughter kasi is uh, ASD. Uh, she's already 18 years old. No? Mm-hmm. And our yung negative behavior that we are planning to change is because ASD, they like to collect things. Uh, with my daughter, she likes to collect ipit, sipit, uh, coins. So before, it's not an issue. No? But whenever we go to our relatives, nangungulek na siya ng ipit eh. So, 18 years old, nangungulek na ng ipit. So, it affects also our relationship, syempre, with the relatives, no? Kasi it's, uh, it's uh, at 18, it's stealing. So, we, sa bahay kasi, we, we na-correct na yun dati. Our problem was when our relatives, especially the, the grandparents, no? Okay na yan. 
So nari imports yun. Ngayon, we are we're having hard, hard, hard time uh, reteaching uh, dun sa anak ko. No? Uh, to the point that uh, even in the school, we bought her a transparent bag. Then I asked the teachers and the parents, pag kami nakita silang gamit, Mm-hmm. They, they will tell my daughter na hindi sa iya, please return it, mga ganun. Right, right. So, ang question ko is, how can we reteach again and prevent that from recurring from the future? No? Right. So, yeah, that's a good question. Isa sa mga uh, ni, uh, parts sa uh, uh, reteaching is actually, ang tawag natin, generalization. Minsan yung skill na natutunan ng bata eh, uh, na isolate lang sa isang setting. So alam mo sa bahay na master niya yung skill eh. Pero pagdating mm. sa ibang sitwasyon hindi na hindi niya na practice So um, um, so it's important again just as a concept I, I know it's na yung situation about as a concept uh, habang natutu- habang tinuturo yung isang skill another thing to consider is to generalize it. Eh. So minsan sa sa bahay madali kasi mas controlled mo yung situation, mas controlled mo yung mga yung mga setting. You know? Pagdating na sa labas, hindi mo na controlled eh, you know? uh, so uh, paunti-unti din na mas kailangan kailangan na uh, ma-introduce ulit yung ano yung skills sa kanya. So one way I suggest to do it to to do it is actually kung uh, beforehand kung if you know na let's say papunta ka sa bahay ng lola, sabihin natin sa lola no. Ah, uh, it it reteach yung, yung ano yung rules and expectations, no? Na to keep your hands to yourself, no? Mukhang makikita ka ng mga items doon na hindi sa iyo, you keep your hands to yourself. So that's one way to say it positively. Uh, I know the, the easiest way is don't steal, don't take things that, that's not yours, no? So, uh, one way to phrase it is keep your hands to yourself. Then, sa mahamuro ng do not take things that not, are not yours. So, kung sa bahay mas may control ka sa setting, uh, you can you can you can bring let's say a visual let's say ng bahay ng lola sa sa kasarapan niya. When you are in this house, keep your hands to yourself. And then yun yung reinforce mo yung pag nasa bahay siya. In a way, in the beginning awkward eh, no? Kasi that in a, that's that's one way at least ma- mapapigurant mo siyang mag dumukot ng ganun. Sa school medyo challenging siya kasi hindi mo naman pwedeng all the time na yung kamay niya nasa ano, nasa bulsa niya o nasa man. No, niya. So, uh dito pwedeng ding environmental change so kung ano ba yung mga hilig ng kolektibo. <laughs> Kung pwede, pero uh, again, this is uh, as best as you can. You can control the situation out of sight. No? Yung mga lapis ba, yung mga you say mga coins. Kung maiiwasan na wala yun sa site sa site niya, and then and then may may pagkakatao na mabawasan. No? Ngayon, kung if, if you can't control the situation, really is that at 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 somehow enforce mo yung keeping your hands yourself. Uh, uh, kapag nakakita ka ng ano ng uh, ng uh, yung mga items na paborito niya you can practice it at home too you know eh uh, set up mo yung environment sa kanya anak merong mga ball pen kang nakita dito lumakad ka lampas niyan kamay mo nasa bulsa mo kapag nagawa niya yun para kayong nagdadrama nag role play you know? and then may konti siyang reward konti siyang reward you know? And then it, it again it will take a little bit of time but that's I guess one way na build yung kanyang ano skills. So I, I would suggest that siguro lang at least yung keeping hands to self. Or I don't know maybe naka ganito or ganito uh, ang kanyang kamay kapag mayroon siya nakitang gusto niyang bagay. But but uh, let me tell you already na medyo minsan magiging challenging you know kasi uh, magiging awkward in the beginning but uh, that's how it's going to be. Thank you po. Mm-hmm. In next question, next question, who would like to ask the next question?
What about um, Glo? Glo, may question yes. ka? Uh-huh. 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 Sige, may, may question, question ako. Uh, Joey, actually, wala akong anak na, na special. Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm work, uh, I work at Kidawal Office sa Marikina as a volunteer. So we encounter every day in mga different, different conditions ng mga bata, lalo yung mga, yung mga, mga Down syndrome, mga autism. So different behavior talaga. Then na, nakita ko yung mga parents na there are times na, na yung dito sa consequence uh, sa, uh, sa step 4, yung sa consequence na uh, parents should stay calm, diba? magali sa behavior. Pero may mga may mga parents na siguro hindi nila alam kung paano i-approach yung bata. So andun yung andun yung situation na na makikita mo irritation ng pay, ng mother sa anak na andun yung hahatake siya o kaya yung paggagalitan niya sa harap ng ibang tao. So hindi yun hindi yun tama pero may mga parents talaga na ganoon na mga mga siguro mga na, na hindi nila alam kung paano 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 ang gagawin sa mga bata na yung approach, tamang approach kasi kasi itong mga magulang na ganitong may mga special child. Importante kasi para sa akin na nag-undergo sila ng training on mm-hmm. how to deal with the, the on how to deal with the, with the child. So, Joey, ano yung mga ano yung mga mga more ano mas mas mas, mas mainam pa na na mga advice for parents na may mga ganitong case, may mga ganitong behavior na nawawala ng pasensya sa mga anak. Lalo yung mga nag naghahatid sundo sa eskwelahan. Andun yung andun yung makikita mo na mga hindi mga irritable kasi mga bata nagat nagnananakbo nang aaway sa mga kaklase. Pag nagsumbong ng teacher kasi nagpilitan ito may masasabi na ding ah uh, ako school so ang um, ganito yung mga special child ito yung mga sumbong na mga parents sa amin so pa- ano yung mga mainam na na mga advice for them do sa mga parents na wala ng pasensya at Uh-oh. yung nag hindi lang nagagal sa behavior kundi mismo sa bata mm-hmm. yung sa bata mismo mm-hmm. yung sa nakaka- nakakaaway yung bata mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah you know, my it's good. First of all, my heart goes out to the parents. Hindi madali yung ginagawa ng mga magulang. You know, yung mga nakikinig ngayon dito na mga magulang, mahirap yung yung situation ninyo talaga. You know, uh, ay siguro nasasabi ko to itong mga shinare ko sa inyo as in principle, pero in practice, really, it's very hard. You know, uh, it's easier very said hard. than done. Yeah. So I uh, I, I uh, empathize with the parents yung mga struggles nila raising their kids you know especially kung may mga behavior problems so uh, um, my heart goes out to you and my ha- and but at the same time hats off to say uh, it's uh, you're you're do- really doing your best uh, but, uh, having having said that uh, it's important then to, to practice self control eh, uh, sa 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 mga magulang uh, it, it it's a it's a it's a real ano eh, it's um um, you know, napupuno din kasi yung mga magulang, eh. especially ang malaking bagay dito, yung sense of uh, mm-hmm. shame, you know. Um, in, may part din dito na ano, sabihin natin, um, the difficulty to accept the situation. You know, um, imbis na actually yung, uh, yung matanggap nila yung, hindi naman sa, I'm not saying na hindi matanggap, but uh, yung difficulty really to accept uh, the, ano yung nangyari, ito yung, ito yung Kumbaga, pasan ko eh. You know, and as much as I, this is a, a mahal ko yung anak ko, pero, you know, hindi nahihirapan ako. So, th- there's a part in, internally sa kanila na they're also struggling. Sometimes hindi talaga sila nagagalit sa sa bata, pero nagagalit sila sa sarili nila. Parang ano yung problema. Mm-hmm. So, one thing that I could say is at least yung grupo nyo, is a person with a uh, with a disability, kung meron kayong mga uh, support group, uh, these parents, they, they get together, meron silang uh, venue to share their frustration, their pro- their worries, their fears, you know. Um, as well, speaking of tears, yung mga parents in general, meron tayong tears of joy, Meron tayong tears of sadness, yeah. pero meron tayong tears of shame. Yung tears of shame, importante, kasi napahiya ako. Napahiya ako sa harapan ng mga ibang magulang dahil sa ginawa ng anak ko. Mahirap, mahirap, um, ganito, parang iibsan yung, ano, yung 
in tears na yon sa ano at minsan masakit sa magulang na uh, kaya no minsan lumalabas sa galit but uh, I, in my opinion minsan hindi lang talaga siya galit eh no? uh, I hope you know I hope hindi lang siya talaga rage <laughs> ng magulang otherwise kung kasi kung talagang galit sa magulang then siguro that really the parents will also need some help too no to cope kasi stressful ang situation and then uh, meron ka pang public na naka, nakika, nakakakita sa iyo may pressure na ano yung gagawin mo at sa situation na yon yeah. so uh, is very, uh, yung at that point uh, 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 gagawin ng bata ng magulang talaga yung first thing that comes to mind so, so i want to suggest siguro sa grupo ninyo kung merong pagkakataon yung mga magulang na magsama-sama and then mag-share sila ng mga kanilang mga kanilang mga it's a, just an opportunity for them to at least um, process yung kanilang mga issues then about having a child with special needs you know? uh, importante rin sa uh, sa parents nyo na ano na um, ma deconstruct nila sa sa kanila yon na meron akong anak mo with special needs uh, uh, and at the same time yung 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 acceptance na yon then ma transfer nila sa bata Anak, you made the wrong decision today. We will work through it. Yeah. We will work through it. Sama tayo, we will work through that. So, um, for now, siguro ayon kung you can if you can organize the parents together and then share their frustrations, it will help them at least uh, find a venue na may support sila. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, questions? More questions? Yeah, sir, can I ask a yes. question? Yes, mm -hmm. please, Kian. Go ahead, okay. Kian. Good morning po sa lahat na nakikinig. Uh, wala naman po akong anak na may special need. Walang teacher po kasi ako sa public. And doon po sa setting namin, wala kami special classroom or place para po sa mga estudyante na may special needs. Uh, ang ibig ko pong sabihin, meron ako mga estudyante na hindi po kasing normal, katulad po nung ibang mga bata na pumapasok sa school. Mm -hmm. So, for example po, nagtuturo ako, uh, they just keep on raising their hand or butt in during the lesson. Mm -hmm. So, Ang ginagawa ko na lang po minsan, ina-acknowledge ko na lang po madalas yung sagot nila o yung pagtaas nila ng kamay. Mm -hmm. But hindi ko po alam kung tama po ba yung aking approach. And some other students will just keep on walking around. Walking, keep on, you know, yung may mga ADHD po na possible po ba yun? na tawaging ADHD among senior high school students na ganun pa rin po yung behavior nila. Paano ko po dapat i-approach yun ng maayos na hindi sila makakaramdam ng, ng napapahiya sila at saka yung maging maayos din po yung pagtingin sa akin nung ibang mga kaklase. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, that's a good question, you know. Uh, number one, siguro, uh, i-assume natin na yung mga bata na yon merong diagnose sila ng ADHD. Um, yung ADHD kasi may katumbas yun na learning disability. So, um, it, it could be yung kanilang, yung kanilang behavior sa classroom is a way to communicate something. So every behavior kasi merong, it's a function of a it's a function of communication. Kung, kung meron akong ginawang behavior kasi meron actually meron akong gustong sabihin. So for let's say for kung nagpalakad-lakad yung bata, so meron siyang gustong sabihin as, as a matter of fact. So usually mga ilang mga functions of behavior niyan is I want your attention or pwedeng ayoko nang gawin tong ginapinapagawa mo sa akin. Mm -hmm. Pero mag-act out yung yung yung, yung bata. So at the same time, it could be an indication to a learning disability. No? So, ibig sabihin, teacher, nahihirapan actually ako sa lesson. So, hindi ko lang masabi sa'yo, pero nangangamote ako, di ba? parang gano'n, no? sa, sa lesson. Eh, kung when I say it's a, it's a, it's a pain, mm -hmm. meron siyang learning disability, uh, sa, 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 sa brain niya, yung, 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 yung part ng brain niya na to actually understand, let's say, math, 
which is very abstract, hirap, hirap siya. So, kailangan nyo ng special way to really uh, in, uh, get in a math instruction. So, if you have a class of 50, let's say, bahin natin 50 yung, tapos, ang, syempre, you, you do your best to teach everyone, meron dyang outliers pa rin na hindi mo mapapansin, hindi mo bibigyan ng mga mapapansin. So, um, uh, um, no, na, na, uh, ang suggestion ko in an immediate situation kagat so for example sa, uh, sa classroom na yung mga batang pa ikot ikot na ano na parang tipong hindi mapakale o mapa mm -hmm. ano sa upuan. Uh, and these are just suggestions, not the tips. Uh, quick, quick suggestions that you can do quickly is that kapag nakaupo yung bata, bigam mo ng pansin. So. Um, so in other words, pinapansin, kasi sa mga bata na say, sabihin natin na magkulang sa pansin, pagalitan mo siya, purihin mo siya, pansin pa rin sa kanila yun, tatanggapin nila yun. Mm -hmm. Pero mas mabuti na yung pansinin mo siya kapag ginawa niya yung mabuti. So pag nakaupo siya, bigyan mo siya ng attention. Kung may konti kang mga pwedeng ibigay na rewards, pag nakaupo siya, then bigyan mo siya ng attention. And then let's just say, I'm assuming na yung kanyang function of behavior is kulang sa kailangan niya ng attention mo kasi you have a big class now kung meron kang problema sa palagay mo talagang hindi siya naka-cope up mm -hmm. nahirapan siya sa lesson mo and then uh, look at just look at his records buma, you know ano ba yung mga level of difficulty niya and then pwede mong bigyan ng konting one to one uh, session yung bata so you know uh one pesos ko yung 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 lesson natin ngayon dito uh, zero so uh Meron kang attempts na ginawa pero hindi mo ma-pick up. Pwede bakit ang tulungan? Anong, anong pwede, I can give you a little bit of uh, sabihin natin yung tutoring so, sa specific lesson na yun. So again, individualized yung approach. Um, it's good na na-assess mo yung, ano, yung, uh, yung needs ng bata. May nakikita mo, napapansin mo na yung kanilang mga baka indicators na meron silang uh, disability o baka special needs. And then, uh, and then, and uh, then, at least that two suggestions, you can try it out. Um, but that's the classroom management. Kung nakalista clearly, yung mga batang nakaupo, alimbawa, itong matatanggap nilang mga ganun. So may, again, it depends rin kung anong level pala ng anong grade ng tinuturuan mo. So uh, misan baka hindi na rin bagay kapag mas matanda yung mga age ng mga bata. So you have to give also appropriate rewards kung, ano, sa age nila. Can I ask? Uh, yeah, yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Mateo. Hello. Ako yung question ko has something to do with ETQ. Kasi ano, meron ako mga estudyante na 5, 6 years old na may PSD. Tapos, ang question ko is, is online learning possible for them? Number two, if not, what can we, what can we do as teachers? Because we have parents at home. Kasi, Yung iba talaga, talaga umiiyak na, teacher, anong gagawin ko? Siyempre, mm -hmm. nagsasabi naman ako ng mga <laughs> pero siyempre, it's not that easy for them, di ba? Kung pwede, saluhin mo na lang sila kung sumugod ka na lang sa bahay nila. So, sabi mo, five or six years old yung mga bata? Ano yung edad ng mga bata ngayon? Five or six years old? Yeah, five. Yeah. five. Right, exactly. Oh, no. Um uh alam mo yung situation natin ngayon really is unprecedented. Uh, yes. Hindi uh wala di natin pinagandaan yung situation na ganito katagal, no? Uh -huh. uh, siguro kung kung sabihin natin for a week or two baka at least uh, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Hintay, hintay lang and then we will get back to uh -huh. our routine. Ngayon, sa mga bata na uh, meron ka na nasimulan sa school, tapos biglang uh -huh. meron ka break because of their... Because yes. Of ano yung gagawin mo for the meantime? And for sure, pag, balik, pag nag reopen yung school, magiging problema na naman kasi balik na yun. <laughs> Lato yes, natin, balik na, na naman. You... Uh, you, I think you really need to work with the parents dito. And uh, the best way that you can communicate with the parents, uh, my first suggestion really is to establish some kind of school routine sa bahay. Uh, so, so let's say, for example, when you start your day with um, circle time. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. 
So um uh bigyan mo ng suggestion yung uh, yung yung parent na you know na nayo tayo you know that's at at, at is pwedeng natin isulat to sa ano sa uh, isusulat ko sa inyo yung pwedeng yung gawin sa 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 bata ako sino man yung ibang mababanda sa bata pagdating ng ganitong oras if you use also visual schedules uh-huh. if you're using uh-huh. visual schedules sa school Pwede ba yung pwede bang gawin pwede ka bang makapagpadala sa magulang ng uh, schedule now online at okay. least uh, uh-huh. uh, refer your parents to online uh, ano Mr and Mrs so and so uh, may mga online merong mga free pictures uh-huh. ng visual pictures of let's say circle time music yeah. lunch, uh, ano? schedule so, oh schedule so i recommend mo yun sa parents na doing uh-huh. Their day structure. So, umaga, ito ang gagawin. Sunod, ito ang gagawin. Sa hapon, ito ang gagawin. So, okay. kahit ano, nakikip lang ko na yung ano. So, especially for kids with ASD, yung visual and a visual schedule, it uh, structures their day too. Uh-huh. At, at best, you can start with that. You know? Yes. Uh, okay. Online. So, otherwise, kung online na learning, uh, at may Siguro diba? mahirap. No, 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 hindi. I mean, like, ganitong ginagawa natin. You can yes. try. Actually, you can try, no? Na mag-show up ka online. Uh-huh. Kung mag-sustain mo yung attention ng bata na nakatingin sa'yo, then, then good. That's a good start, no? Yes. Uh-huh. Pwede mo kung pinunti na, na nagtuturo ko. Okay. So, si Melanie. May question si Melanie? Melanie? Uh, okay, basahin ko yung question ni Melanie. Ah. Okay, mm-hmm. sabi ni Melanie, i-message si Melanie. Uh, okay, sabi niya, Hi Joey, what is the best approach if your child continues to tiptoe even when he is already six years old? Mm-hmm. Is there a surgery needed or therapy to make him walk flat on his feet uh, I, I won't so I'm not a uh, physical doctor or I know but uh, from a teacher's point of view I could recommend so Ro, may question din po ako mm-hmm. So okay. So yung sa yung sa tanong lang dun sa ano dun sa tiptoeing hindi ko because I'm not a physical doctor or a medical doctor but other from from my knowledge hindi ko recommend um um uh, isa sa mga isa sa mga uh, possibility na pwedeng na gawin sa sa tiptoeing is like uh, some some kind of uh, uh, occupational therapy or physical therapy na uh, put on some pointing parang weight dun sa bata uh, para to ground the, the child um y- yung yung tiptoeing yung tiptoeing kasi ng mga ano ng mga ng mga especially with the uh, kids with the uh, autism is a uh, automatic reinforcement eh parang yun uh, was the reason yun yung kanilang yun yung kanilang uh, na provide ng balance sa kanila eh. So, counting therapy, mukhang, especially at this age, it will take time, pero pwedeng mabawasan, mababawasan. And from my experience, I had one child, actually 22 na siya ngayon. I had a child at uh, when he was, uh, I want to say like uh, uh, 11, you know, Tip, nagtitiptoe din siya. Pero ngayon, hindi na. Paminsan-minsan na lang siya magtitipto. Assess din ng, assess din ng magulang uh, na, you know, kung ano yung kakayahan niya actually mag-walk flat, you know, on his, uh, on his, uh, on his soul, on his feet. You know. uh, at kung kailan siya nagtitipto. You know. so, pero kung kakaya naman ng bata actually magtipto, I don't think kailangan niya ng surgery. So. Thank you, thank you, sir. Okay, okay. si may may question si uh, Galaxy A10. <laughs> Saan si Gal- Galaxy, Galaxy A10? Si, Kaw Galaxy ka ha. <laughs> si 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 nang si Galaxy. Si Esperanza. <laughs> okay, Esperanza, Esperanza. Yes. Kaw Esperanza, hindi ka. Esperanza. Ah. 
Esperanza, Un- nakita kita. Unmute, unmute. Unmute, Pierce. Unmute. Esperanza, we cannot... Hello? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Hello, go okay ahead. Na okay na, okay na. Go. Ayan, finally, meron na rin po akong video. At saka, uh, ano, join na rin sa wakas. Kasi oh, nag-subscribe na po ako. Yes, okay. May panload na. Panload na. Po, okay, go. Sobrang saya ko po na. Nakita ko na rin kayo sa wakas at naririnig ng mga ng... clap. Po kami nag-aaral ng mas ng anak ko at si Sho. Sila yung edad ni Bibi. Kaya lang po, uh, parang hirap pa rin siya sa umpisa. Lagi, lagi kami mag-aaral. Pero once na nandun naman na, so ginagawa naman niya, kaya lang parang hirap na hirap yung kalooban niya. So syempre, para sa akin, mahirap din yung kalooban ko. Lagay ko nga yung sarili ko sa kanya, papagawa sa akin yung ayaw ko. So syempre, masama loob ko. So ano po ba other way? Para po, uh, hindi po naman ganun. It, it, yung uh, nahihirapan siyang subject la, pa is yung specific lang sa subtraction o meron pang iba na nahihirapan siya? Hello? Na, narinig mo ako? Medyo nag-freeze siya, oh boy. Okay, so, okay. Sige, natin na sige natin ng ano, no? So, uh, sa, uh, sabihin natin specific yung sa uh, topic ng subtraction. Um, uh, pwede natin i-analyze kung ano yung parts ng nahihirapan siya. Uh, kanina na-mention ko, very abstract kasi yung math. So, uh, yung konsepto ng uh, subtraction, baka hindi niya kagad naintindihan. So, pwedeng merong uh, konting uh, basic uh, thing sa, sa, sa concepts ng, uh, let's say, yung tawag natin one-on-one correspondence. Um, so, uh, accurate pa yung kanyang, meron siyang level of mastery kasi yung mga, sa math kasi, it, it, ano siya, parang scaffolding. Eh. So, it has to build on skills. Eh. So, meron kang foundation, And then, uh, before you move on to the next level, kailangan solid yung foundation mo. Ngayon, kung hindi siya masyadong solid, hindi may hihirapan siya as, uh, as abang kaskapo, abang sa flat yun. So, um, review yung konting foundation. So, dito, pag kung specific to uh, uh, an academic uh, lesson, uh, tutoring is, it can be effective. No? Ngayon, so, uh, si yung mommy, kailangan mo rin maging matatag. So, uh, uh, kahit na hihirapan siya, kung gusto mo siyang talaga mag-succeed dito sa partner na to o sa lesson na to, uh, itago mo rin yung frustration mo sa, na, na ano, mag- maging positive ka rin sa kanya na kahit mahirap pag 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 pagigihan niya no? at the same time to also give them the gift of time uh, ang, 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 ang sistema kasi sa school is uh, you know uh, it's really kung nahuhuli ka eh, hindi hindi maghihintay yung school sa iyo eh no? kung nahuhuli ka yung anak mo kung nahuhuli hindi kanila hihintayin eh they will keep moving forward so um, ng- ngayon give them the gift of time. So, uh, kahit nahihirapan siyang mag-catch up dun sa level ng the majority of the kids, just take it, accept mo, accept mo lang sa sige mo na sige, this will just take time in the beginning. Kapag makuha niya yung ano, yung yung mga, pag makuha niya eventually, ah, ah, aangat din, aangat din. And again, this is the part na siguro kailangan din natin i-deconstruct sa sarili natin yung ano, ano. It will take time. A lot of developmentally, kahit sabihin natin kung a normal six-year-old, andito na siya, yung anak ng special needs, medyo behind. Although, I want to say to not in all areas. Kung behind siya sa math, baka sa ibang bagay, advance siya sa iba. You know? So, give them the benefit of the doubt. It's also good for the parents to find what they're really good at them. Sometimes meron kasing standard tayo ng definition kung ano yung successful na bata. Mataas ang grades, babasa na, nagsasalita ng maayos. You know? Pero yung iba hindi na may measure. 
sa sistema ng edukasyon. So hanapin niyo 'yon. Hanapin niyo yung gift ng anak niyo and then and then somehow uh, makikit you know that will give you joy. That will give you a lot of uh, sense of uh, you know uh, um, uh, gratitude, you know. You know my my my, my sa sa sistema ng edukasyon is is behind pero in other things is way ahead. Ang uh, ano po ng anak ko talent po niya. Sarap kakain. Wow. <laughs> po yung talent ng anak ko masarap kakain. I I think siguro na hindi mahusay ibiruin mo kung uh, yung uh, pwedeng pwedeng ma-develop yan sa ibang skill, you know, kung uh, kung uh, eventually It, kung kung paborito din pala niya yung pagkain you could also use that as a yeah. as, a, as a platform to, to, to make, make, you know how about you throw some subtraction umuuya kayo ng paborito niyang chicken <laughs> kami na no? so, so, ito sa pong price kumain ako ng lima ilan nang natira ah, magaling pong gagala <laughs> yan oh yun yan habang naglalakad kayo gumagala kayo Tingnan niyo na yung mga ano yung mga numbers ano anong number yan ganun o nalak, nakalampas na tayo ng ilang poste mm-hmm. ganun so at least kung paborito niya pa lang gumala i-, i take advantage of those uh, settings na ano na to i, i-, i- pasok pasok mo ng konting ilang mga math na uh, questions or ano or uh, uh, problems It, it, in other words, make it interesting. No? It make it interesting for the uh, for the child, especially kung academics. Uh, and you did mention na ano na ikaw din mismo na era pang kabat. Uh, look back into your old, also yung when you were younger. Uh, you know, siguro na papalo ka kapag hindi ka hindi ka makapick, hindi ka makakatch up. You know, uh, my pressure. And, pero if you, you try to make it interesting, fun. Uh, and it uh, baka in uh, baka mag-pick up eh uh, merong konting konting uh, motivation yung bata na uh, on his own uh, kakayanin ko to 3145 okay so everybody is uh, encouraged to open your cameras okay so we we can also see you oh uh, maris you have a question my sister this is uh, My sister and only also Joey's sister. Mm-hmm. Question, ka? Yeah. May may meron ako ng question from Visha. Mm-hmm. Sa makalagkit sa Zoom eh, so she's watching from YouTube. Mm. Question niya. <laughs> ano daw? How how can the government help families who have special needs? Um, hindi ako masyadong updated sa ano sa Philippine situation ko ano yung uh, uh, special needs support ng ano ng uh, sa Philippines but uh so siguro ka crowdsource ko tong tanong na to no so halimbawa sa mga parents dito ngayon no even kay, uh, kay Gloria ano yung uh, support na binibigay nila sa ano sa mga kabataan for sparse education. Do you meron bang sa kasalukuyan na uh, public education for uh, child with special needs or puro tuition private based tuition based na, na ano ang uh, ang uh, ang schools na kung saan pumapasok yung mga anak niyo. Sir Joey, um, pwede kung pwede yeah. ko sagutin yan. Okay, good, good, good. Oh. Okay, sagutin daw uh, niya na. Sige. Abali kami po kasi sa Montendupa. Uh, unang-una po kasi uh, kailangan po talaga ng bitaw eh. No? Uh, persons yes. with disability affairs office. Affairs office. Ang um, pinamaganda po sa Montendupa po kasi we have public sped schools. We have five public sped schools. Uh, I think we're the one who pioneer in NCR sa Alabang Elementary School. So yung sinasabi ni Sir Joey kanina to answer also the teachers, no? Uh, important po yung three circles that we call the three circles, no? So, hindi lang po sa suporta ng gobyerno. Kailangan po kasi yung community, yung teachers, especially staff, tsaka yung mga magulang, especially po yung magulang, uh-huh. buo. Kailangan po may suporta. Ayun, kung may support po tayo, we can actually go to the barangay level, we can go to the municipal level, kasi may budget po ang bawat barangay, munisipyo, 
ng uh, 1% po ng ira nila which is allocated for PWD. Ano, that's, that's, eh, syempre, that's tayo mga bulang. Dapat mas malaki makuha natin. Mm -hmm. Opo, annual po yun. Tapos, we always encourage po doon yung mga parents to be part of the associations within their barangay. Para po maging local, part po tayo ng local board sa yeah. governance. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, pagdating po sa school, importante po yung asosasyon ng mga magulang with special needs ng bata. Kasi po, ang um, kami po sa aming experience po namin, ang laki ng problema po namin, Sir Joey, dito, yung inclusion. Uh, nagsimula po kasi problema mainstreaming, no? Problema ng lahat no? yan. Tapos, mm -hmm. kasi, uh, tama po, nag-jump po problema tayo ng inclusion lahat. kapara si teacher. Sa si mm -hmm. teacher po, hindi na training. Ulang mm -hmm. po sa sensitivity, no? Yung mm -hmm. words na sinabi niya kanina, medyo okay, hindi po dapat normal at regular, no? Kasi pag normal, may abnormal. Pag may regular, may irregular. May regular. So, yun po, napaka-basic nun. <laughs> Discrimination po yun no, sa Magna Carta natin. <laughs> so, ang importante po kasi is yung uh, babalik po ko, is para makuha po natin support ng government, importante pong mabuo yung sinasabi ni Sir Joey ng support group ng magulang. Magbuo kayo. Then, kayo po ang lumapit sa barangay. Oh, pero sabi nga ni Sir Joey, it will take some time. Marami po sa barangay officials natin may hindi alam po ang ibig sabihin ng PWD no? o yung special yes. needs na children. Mm -hmm. so, Opo, marami pero, po. Yan, marami po. So, ganun po para marami magkuha natin suporta. So, ang Pilipinas po, may sapat na batas uh, mm -hmm. kulang po sa implementation. Tama, Ma'am Maris? <laughs> pero importante po, maganda ka po, may tiga pitaw dito eh. Uh, concerns sa mga bata. Pero importante yung sinasabi ni Sir Joey yung support group. Not only para po yung uh, yung sharing. No? Kasi only parents with special needs na bata ang makakaitindi sa kapwa parents niya po. So importante po yung grupo na yon yung may iyakan nyo. No? At mabibigyan nyo masasabihin nyo ng problema. Uh, kami po kasi sa, sa, sa amin, may grupo po kami ng pinupo Binuo na po namin yung support group per, per disability. Uh, tapos may pangkalata na po kami pang magulang sa buong mundong lupa. Gawa oh. ng uh, oh. DepEd. Nice. Kalaban mm -hmm. namin DepEd eh. Gawa po ng inclusion na abrupt na lang. Oh, inclusion. Ang inclusion kasi po nila, ganito eh. Okay, ADHD anak mo, behavior, o saksak mo dyan. Tapos 50 ang student. Di ba? <laughs> So supposed to be the environment adapts to the student. Mm -hmm. Hindi yung mainstreaming na dati, the student mm -hmm. adapt to the environment. Mm -hmm. Eh ngayon po dapat ganun eh. Pero sa sitwasyon po natin sa DepEd ay hindi po nangyayari yan mm -hmm. sa buong Pilipinas po. So ulitin ko po, ang take home lang po is organize yourself. Okay? Then you approach the local government, barangay level, the school, and work with the PIDAW office ng munisipyo para makuha po natin yung mga supporter nila. Salamat po. Okay, thank you, Ben. Clarification, uh, to add on dun sa sinabi ni Mr. Montanlupa, uh, being a volunteer sa uh, PIDAW, mahalaga po na once we avail PWDID sa PIDAW, importante po yun na once na na-avail natin yung ID, i-present po natin sa ating barangay para po sa database nila. Kasi hindi po pwedeng sa PIDAW lang ang database. Kailangan po meron din po ang PIDAW para, para register din po siya sa PIDAW. Kasi asa sa barangay. Kasi pag nagkaroon po ng mga activities, mga events, iba mga trainings and seminars for, for parents, for those who are having special child. So, alam po ng barangay kung sino yung, sino yung mga kukontakin nila, sino yung i-visit nila. At may mga time kasi na yung mga nasa barangay, wala na silang time para mag-home visit na mga, yung mga PWD, yung mga may persons with disabilities. So it's our, uh, siguro, uh, responsibilidad natin mga, mga PWD holder na, na magparegister tayo sa barangay. Hindi lang po tayo dapat magparegister sa PIDAW para po maging, maging accurate po yung, yung record ng PIDAW at record ng, barang, ng barangay level. So yun po yun. Para maging patas po yung ano na, eh bakit kami hindi kami nakaka-avail ng ganitong activity? Ba't wala kami ng ganitong mga, 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 mga biyaya? 
So yun, ang hinahanap ng mga, ano na mga, mga uh, parents. So, ganun po ang gawin natin ng sistema na, na hindi lang tayo mag, mag-focus sa Pidao. Nahalaga din po sa barangay lalar. So, yun po. Okay, thank you. Glo- now, before we uh, proceed, I'd uh, just like to know the availability of everybody, especially si Amy. Amy, uh, we've yes. gone one hour and a half. Available ka pa, Amy? I still have questions pa. <laughs> oh, Amy, available ka pa? Alis na rin po ako. Ah. Oh, sige. Okay, feel free to, to leave anytime, ha? Oo, oh, sige. Uh, Joey, mm-hmm. how about, how, kamusta ikaw, availability mo? <laughs> Okay ka pa? Sige lang, sige lang. Oh. Okay. Sige, sige. Wow! Sige. So, so we can Talagang proceed. Talagang naka po, naka... Oo. So, so si, Amy, uh, si Amy will be... Anytime, Amy, you have to go okay lang, ha? No problem. Okay. Thank you, Amy. So, may question tayo from uh, Neil. Neil? Saan si Neil? Where is Neil? Teka, hindi ko... Uh, mas maraming ang participants ngayon, eh. Where is Neil? Okay, baka nag... Uh, hello, Neil. Neil, ikaw na. Neil, I'm, I'm muting you. Sige. Go ahead, Neil. May question si Neil. Mm-hmm. Naka-ano siya? Naka-mute. Neil, go ahead. But wala kang mic. Hindi ka naka-mute. Okay ba yung mic mo? Hindi ka naman naka-mute. Check mo nga yung mic settings mo. Ayan. 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 Okay ayan. 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 Mas okay. Ayan. Mas okay. Ayan. Mas okay. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Go ahead. <laughs> Actually, we have a small play group po. Um, ang nangyayapan ako is how to handle po talaga yung Um, yung siyempre, yung mga parents who have um, parang hindi pa nila accept na may special needs yung mga anak nila. So, naiintindihan ko naman po. The problem is, ang lagi kong pinupoint out is early intervention is mas okay. So, ano, may, may pwede po ba kayong ituro sa akin on how to handle them para mas maging eager sila na ipat Um, ipa-check sa developmental psychologist para mapatherapy early yung bata. Yun lang po yung issue ko. I don't know kung um, yun. So yun po yung tanong ko. Kung baka po may, may um, pwede ko yung ituro sa amin on how to handle um, yung mga parents who has uh, having a hard time accepting. Mm-hmm. So uh Uh, go one. That, that's a good point. Yung uh, early intervention. So, yung mga may, may meron kasi mga disability na at birth, medyo uh, na the diagnose na. So let's say the Down syndrome. So uh, earlier on, alam na okay, meron kang Down syndrome and then na ila. Cerebral Yeah, also cerebral palsy. Yes, so um, may merong mga uh, uh, of course the. Uh, um, Uh, diagnosis na it comes on a little bit later so like like a uh, ASD yeah ka di yung mga indicators lang really come in later in life pero meron ka na kaunting nakikita na yeah. no, unusual no so mm-hmm. uh, and then that is very important nga na siguro ma, ma ano na makonsulta so and and then yung kung may mga parents na let's say kahit meron silang tawag natin suspicion na ano na baka uh, ano kaya, o kahit may mga questions, may mga naging uh, questions. Um, uh, one thing that you, uh, one, just to say you are familiar, you, are, you know it's, you are not, you know some specific people na uh, based from your experience na yeah. you think your child has special needs or is, uh, has autism, you know? Uh, the, I think the best way you can really do is to is to um, share your experience. You know? Yes. Really, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, really, yung hindi sila nag-iisa. You know, ang 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 yeah. um, ang uh, ang siguro ang isang message na kailangan na siguro maganda nilang malaman. Is you're not alone. You're not the first one na masasak sa um, 
malalaman mo na yung anak mo merong special needs. No? Yes. yes. Ay, always at the very paglabas ng anak na yon, ang lahat ng pangarap mo andun. Tapos biglang may makikita kang mga indicators but hindi pa naglalakad, but hindi pa nagsasalita, no? Pang medyo unti-unti na reveal yon. Mahirap na na ano na biglang may si magsasabi sa iyo ang anak mo merong ASD. Oh. Yes. So, um um at kung merong mga kilang kilala na hindi pa nadadiagnose ng anak nila, yeah. maganda na yung information na early intervention. Ano yung benefits noon? Especially sa, let's say, sa batang with ASD, kung meron silang konting speech, yung speech delays, the earlier na ma-identify yon, the earlier na pwede mabigyan ng mga speech services. Um, at the same time, at the same time, siguro, yung na uh, yung reassurance sa kanila na hindi ka nag-iisa sa sitwasyon na yon na ma- mayroon ding ibang taong dumaan doon sa sitwasyon niya at i yeah. think kapag uh, um uh, depende kung gaano ka ka-close sa taong yon no kung paano mo ma- to share yung mga ilang experiences ng iba yung mga kaibigan na o kakilala na hindi sila nag-iisa doon sa sa, sa part na yon yeah actually um We are already 10 years in a play group. Um, yeah, so we have, uh, yun nga po, no, 10 years na. So for yung 10 years na yun, parang um, laging yun yung struggle ko. Um, may kausap kami na DevPed, tapos binabato sa amin kapag yung kid is na-assess nila that na parang, um, parang may ASD, pero for DevPed, parang hindi pa confirmed kasi too early naman, sobrang bata pa. So, but then, nakikita naman din po namin. So, kasi ina-assess naman po namin sila. Yun lang, no? Sobrang hirap lang din do sa part namin as a teacher kasi minsan nababalikan din kami. Mm-hmm. Uh, na parang, yeah, nababalikan kami na na bakit hindi, bakit hindi nasabi, eto, na may ganitong case pala yung bata. So, parang kami naman, ha, eh, lahat po nandun sa assessment, yung observations, etc. So, anyway, so yun lang po, no? At least, thank you po, at least, um, yung, yung, tama po, no, na, na, sabihin na parang, um, hindi sila nag-iisa dun sa scenario na yun. Sige, thank you po. Thank you. Yeah, siguro isang dagdag din dun is kung nasa school setting, Uh, yes, kung meron kayong uh, ex, uh, special needs te- special education teacher or someone who is knowledgeable makakatulong din eh so are you or kung say kung if you're uh, yung uh, sa general ed teacher tapos meron ka ng kaunting suspicion based from your uh, knowledge you know, yeah i mean to clinical side yeah thank you I'm no. into clinical psych. Oh, clinical psych. Yeah, I see. I see. So then, oh, even yeah. then, ikaw pala yung ikaw yung resource. Then ikaw yung magiging yeah. uh, sa kanila yeah. to determine. No, no. So yeah, yeah ma, ma, medyo ano, medyo magiging mahirap to convince them, but it has to come from them. Eh. So wala kang ibang magagawa mm-hmm. really. An, an, na, ano na uh, at some point na uh, na force mo silang iassess. The consent yeah. really needs to come from the parent. Na sige, magpapasa sa kanila. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank mm-hmm. you, sir. Okay. Thank you. May question si uh, Ayan. Ayan. Hello, Ayan. Would you like to ask your question? Si, uh, hello, Ayan. Ayan. Would you like to ask your question? Hello, sir. Ah, uh, go ahead. Yeah, uh, no, gusto ko lang po malaman kasi it's actually difficult to uh, to change the perspective of our parents na madami sa kanila, they actually bring their child or their children in school. Parang daycare center lang, tapos pagdating sa bahay, wala nang follow-up. So, ang hirap po kasi lalo na most specially sa public school sa mga PWD nating mga estudyante. I actually work at uh, Philippine School for the Deaf so medyo marami sa ating mga estudyante yung <laughs> ganun. Yung parents kasi natin uh, kahit gano'ng ka, 
daming beses na nating sabihin sa kanila to give, to follow up. Kaya lang ang hirap talaga sa nila. Yun, yun lang. How can we change that perspective or, uh, of the other people, uh, other parents? Uh, yeah. You, uh, um, it's a reality, you know, na um, isan yung school system parang nagiging daycare. Ang, ang, yeah, daycare. <laughs> um, at the moment, parang pag-vacation, hirap yung mga magulang sa kanila full-time. They can't wait for school to start kasi yes. <laughs> part of the day, nandun sila sa, ano, sa, sa, sa school, no? So, um, um, siguro pagdating dun sa ano sa changing you no know, I, I want to say siguro um iwag di ko rin generalize na lahat ng parents din be supportive so at least if you can pinpoint yung mga parents na medyo mahirap and i want to think na siguro um uh, handful lang to hindi naman lahat siguro na ano and then um and then pwedeng nating ma-approach siguro na on a more uh, sabi natin specific way kung ano ba yung situation ng sa bahay. Is there a possibility for the teacher to do a home visit? Uh, see, let's see, you know, para lang kung ano yung situation sa bahay, but then may hirapan yung to follow through. In reality, then too, kung ano yung isang mga say, mga rules sa school, iba rin sa rules sa bahay, ang mga ba- ang bata kung uh, 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 confused, no? May mga programs na ano na uh, really built in na kung yung kung ano yung sistema sa school na fa- follow through with the kids pero really na banggit kanina na kailangan ng ano ng uh, 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 tao gito parang collaboration mm-hmm. uh, hindi hindi pwedeng magawa lang ng teacher na uh, alone eh. Uh, so, kailangan ng school, kailangan ng uh, family support, and of course, yung community. So, I think yung PWT comes in very, very, very essential here. Kasi kayo yung nagra-rally sa community yan. Uh, again, it's giving them access, acknowledging that there are persons with disabilities. Meron right? silang um, uh, uh, right to the service, the same services as the, one, the ones who don't have special needs. So, mm-hmm. ayun, yeah. Um, so I guess to answer the question is um, identify nyo yung mga parents na yun, no? and then uh, hope, um, just assuming na hindi naman generalized to, no? and then possibly do a home visit in the natin situation kung ano yung is that if that's if that's ever possible. And then I meron ako re- recommending ilang mga programs na online na uh, it's really a home school home school uh, support system. So yes. make sure na, let's say, kung meron kayong tawag ng mga talk book or yung, ano, kung, let's say, yung yeah. teacher, kung ito yung, ito yung ginawa namin sa school, alam ng parents pagdating sa bahay kung may form of communication. So, you know, how kung yung te- yung, te- yung, ba- te- yung uh, parents sa bahay tatanungin, anong ginawa mo sa school, actually, alam nila kung ano yung sagot. No? Mm-hmm. And then, pwedeng, pwedeng, pwedeng ma-prompt ng uh, parent kung ano yung sagot. Yeah. Yeah. Th- th- this could even give uh free sign language classes for the okay, parents. Yeah, so. very minimal pa din yung pumupunta. I see. I see. Yeah. I see. Karang karang yung problem. Yeah. So as of now, yeah. I, I will suggest na look at that as a baseline information for you. So kung meron kayo mga current approaches na ginagawa na you know this, you know this, you've been doing this in the past. Pero may mga parents na hindi niyo maabot. Just look at that as a baseline and come up and see in a, as, in a, as creative as you can and come up with ways on how to reach the parents. Uh, I'm sure you want to reach 100%. So uh, set that as a goal. Kung ngayon, if 50% lang, sige lang, sige lang. Let's find some creative ways to... Try, try more. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, and then, and then again, it's a, it's a community approach. No? Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. So yung baka itong... Uh, 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 this your group you can PWP will be it can be instrumental okay thank you sir mm. okay thank you ngayon may question si 1HP SRVJ Gun R <laughs> hello hindi ko si 1H 1HP 
One HP R five. Um, may question ka? Uh, anong name mo? What's your name? Uh, hello. Oh, C one HP. <laughs> oh, oh, anong question mo? Ano question mo? Uh, ano pangalan mo pala? Ano pangalan mo? Ako rin po. Oo, si ano ano back ano background mo? Parent ka ba ng ano? Teacher po. Pero okay, wala si mga uh, students na may special needs. So, uh, na curious lang uh, mayroon lang po akong tanong sa kapatid ko kasi yung kapatid ko po is already 12 years old at mag uh, mag grade 7 na siya ngayon. Kasi po, yung na-observe ko lang is uh, mahilig siyang maglaro sa kanyang, kanyang, kanyang sarili po. Like, magiging siya lang. Tapos, pag meron kang sasabihin sa kanya, parang hindi siya, wala siya sa po. Matagal pa siyang mag, mag, ano, mag, mag ano sa'yo, mag, mag-respond. Uh, Oo, oh, mag-respond. So, yun, isa po siyang indicator ng may special needs ng isang bata. So yeah, oh no, it it's um at least based from those two uh, um behaviors um possible and then kung and then yung frequency niya so um kung how many gano ka gano kadalas mo nakikita yung pag isolate niya sa sarili niya uh and then sabi mo nga is gusto lang niya maglaro on his own tapos yung behavior as uh, very ano po kasi very imaginative lang po sa kanyang edad kasi uh, hindi na siya appropriate kasi siya na observe oh oh oh, oh, oh. So it, it's possible kasi yung ASD naman it's a spectrum siya no in other words merong 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 medyo may mild and then meron din yung mga severe na uh, autism so, Pero okay naman niya po. Ah. Um, na-observe ko sa kanya. Okay naman po yung ibang yung learning abilities right. niya. Good. That's good. So yeah. So yeah, so um hin- uh, kung kung halimbawa gusto mong malaman talaga or ma-diagnose siya. Uh and then I would say just take notes. Take notes. Um and then and then over time tina mo kung nagbabago ba okay. so kasi meron din kasi minsan um may mga behaviors tayo na let's say could be siguro isolated para siyang autistic ba? parang uh, pero like you said sa ibang aspeto naman no you know quote and quote normal you know, no? So I don't see the need na kailangan siyang ma-label or ma-diagnose no? unless na unless na uh, although sa nabanggit mo may mga peding at his age inappropriate na siya the thing kasi with uh, ASD ang kanyang ang kanyang basic uh, disability really is the social part and the uh, 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 all others functional pero pagdating sa social aspect doon siya nagkukulang um, at, at the, although although magiging functional siya the whole the in, his entire life except gusto lang niya magsasarili siya pa hindi naman kailangan din may den hindi naman siguro kailangan siya ma-identify uh, at this point pero later on in his adult life siguro importante na malaman niya what's wrong Mm-hmm. Kasi ma, ma nanonotice na rin niya yon na ano no baka you know people stays away from him ayaw siyang kasama you know, na we weird duhan sa kanya parang ganoon hindi siya sa school ha minsan ko nabubuli siya sa school minsan na nabubuli nabubuli exactly yes so oh. kasi napapansin na medyo different siya no uh, mm-hmm. so um um I, I, I want to, I want to uh, say siguro sa, sa 
brother mo, identify yung mga specific situations na yan. Definitely bullying is not acceptable. I would bring it up sa ano sa principal, you know. Uh, and then wag mong papalampasin 'yon. Mm-hmm. Kasi kahit wala siyang special needs, hindi pwedeng hindi acceptable ang bullying. Bullying. Oh, so kailangan ma-bring up mo yung kaagad. Um, now, yung social behaviors, sabihin natin hi- sabihin natin hindi diagnosed yun. And then, merong mga ilang mga paraan to teach the social skills part. Kasi kung, like you said, in all other aspects, uh, functional siya. The social skills part uh, um, needs extra help. And then you can focus on the social skills. Um, so may mga sistema din on how to teach uh, the social skills. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, I see Ernie. Ernie? Ernie? Ernie De Castro? May question ka, Ernie? Uh, Ernie? Uh, Ernie? May tanong ka, Ernie? Ernie De Castro? Hello, hello Ernie? Okay, good morning. Uh, since the old year is uh, intermittent and uh, garbled, so we can't have it fully for the actions for me to listen for uh, your video in your, if you have your uh, Facebook page so that I can also share it with their favorite for I believe this uh, developmental healing child special needs from the hundred uh, acceptance and falls from the family my senior old Okay, oy boy, medyo ma- hindi maganda yung uh, signal. signal. But uh, she, she wrote uh, a question dito sa chat natin. Basahin ko, ah. Mm-hmm. Hi, Sir Joey. I am, a, I am a volunteer parent of PWD here in Lipa City. Where can I listen or watch your video about handling children with special needs so that I can also share it with my fellow parents as... There are a lot of us who still not accepted our child or children with special needs. Uh, well, I guess this video, uh, no, where we can uh, give give her access to this one. Mm-hmm. Yes, correct. Yeah. Uh, so, kung, um, Meron na kong uh, uh, teacher web page but it's major specific to the school na uh, where I'm teaching in. So but uh, I can give you a, I can give you the website of that one. Um, so at this my, my, just uh, to uh, contact information kung in, anything I can do for the group or for other parents. But otherwise this video is a uh, good help niba? Yeah. Yes, uh, or oh, Ernie, um, this uh, this project is actually by the Persons with Disability Advocates TV. So uh, we had two, in fact, uh, related to special children. Last week, it was about mathematics, how to teach math. And uh, ngayon, with uh, Joey. So this TV production, uh, we, we are constantly making productions for for PWDs. Now, how did this uh, come about? Si Esperanza, si Galaxy A10, <laughs> si Esperanza <laughs> was very active Hi, in uh, Hi, yes, is pro- it providing us with suggestions on what to what to produce. So, kaya, oh, uh, Sir Rome, may uh, uh, we want we, we need to teach math to our children. So, hanap naman ako resource person. Originally, si, si Joey, uh, 
but then I found a specialist in math, so I ko last week. And then Joey, um, I know for a fact na ang expertise naman niya is management of uh, of uh, children with special needs. Kaya, kaya meron tayo ngayon ito. At stay tuned always dito sa, sa TV channel natin. And Joey will be a regular <laughs> speaker. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, ngayon may question tayo from Melanie. Si Melanie Aguilar, where's Melanie? Asa na si Melanie? Okay. Can you show your cam si Melanie? Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sige. Lunch time. Lunch oh, go time. Ahead. Tayo. Oh, okay lang, sige, sige. Sige. Okay. Go ahead, Melanie, may question ka. Sir, how do you deal with uh, inappropriate laughing? Kasi minsan may sudden outburst, minsan na may naaalala siya na um, particular scene sa movie or probably yung parang previous moment sa life niya na, na talagang matatawa lang siya. And then all of a sudden, ano, meron bang sensory activity na pwedeng ma-minimize if not totally eliminate yung ganun? Um, and the, uh, ang muna kong re uh, re reaction is as is it in out in public na nagugulat ba yung mga tao <laughs> na natakot ganun? Or um, at home, uh, usually kasi na no note mm -mm. kasi both in 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 ano um in our house tapos ano in public um ano notice ko lang kasi parang nagi increase yung probability ng inappropriate laughing pag medyo stress siya sa work sa, sa studies medyo parang kailangan yang um ipahinga yung utak niya parang parang yun lang yung nano notice ko or pro probably pag kumakain siya ng mga particular food like uh, chocolate like uh, cheese parang ganon yun yun na observe ko din sa kanya na associate mo dun sa ano sa mga mm -mm. <laughs> Um, uh, one one way sab sabihin natin it's uh, yung uh, sabihin natin isang trigger yung stress niya uh, so one way is actually to identify a replacement behavior. So instead of siguro yung laughter na malakas, ano si palagay mo acceptable? Na, na malapit-lapit sa laughter. Na, ano, na acceptable para sa, you think, sa, so, in public? Tsaka sa iyo. And then i-replace, you know? Because uh, kasi so ngayon, nakaka-cope siya by if, 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 if merong uh, precursor behavior uh, incident, makikita mo na ito na yung possibility na tatawa siya na kakaloka o nakaka-distract. Uh, you know? And then, um, um, mag-isip tayo ng replacement behavior na very similar. Is it, uh, is like, it, ano kaya yun, Joey? Yung... Uh, yung... Ang naisip ko nito is kung salimbawa sabihin natin kung meron pa siyang automatic reinforcement dahil sa pagsigaw niya, yung outlet pa ng pagsiga, ng pagtawa. Kasi kung talaga namang natatawa siya, hindi natin, hindi ko pipigil lang yung kung happy to make sense. So sabihin natin, uh, siguro kapag tatawa siya, pwede sabihin mo, pwede bang makapagpapit, medyo babawasan lang yung volume. You know, no? Okay. So, uh, so pagtatawa ka lang kasi kung imbis na bukas, imbis na naka, bukas yung bibigyan ng malakas, mabawasan lang yung volume. Uh -huh. Hindi natin totally aalisin sa kanya o titigilin yung ano yung laki. Hindi natin ang kapalit na natin. So kung hindi naman, kung, hindi, kung ma, ma decrease natin yung volume kasi patakpa na yung bibig niyang ganyan, baka maging mas acceptable yun. So, uh, think of ways na ano, na pwedeng isang replacement behavior doon. I want to say siguro at least the volume. Uh, kung stress siya, uh, sabihin natin, is there a way for him to let you know na stress siya? Uh, kung, kung, let's say, kung, kung, kung non-verbal siya, uh, meron ba siyang papakita siya yun na uh, 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 isang uh, um, Icon or card, na, you know, I need help. So, just another choice for him to communicate to you that I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. So, ngayon yun yung kanyang coping, uh, uh, at least from what I'm hearing from you, no? Ang nagpipilit sa kanya is stressed. 
And then, and then, and then again, another system to how to introduce your replacement behavior. Yeah. Uh -huh. Replacement behavior. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, oh. so, and, and we're assuming that the behavior niyan is a fun, is merong is merong communicative function. I communicative mean, function. Water. Uh -uh. So, okay. Another acceptable behavior is will be a way for him to let you know to let the people know to let him. Uh, uh, express uh, uh, I'm stressed but more uh -huh. acceptable. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Joey thank you mm -hmm. okay thank you Melanie for your question well I know Joey I I you know I worry young children that are wrongly diagnosed you because maybe say US uh, they have access to very good doc, uh, doctors. So Philippines, I have this sense that some of our doctors don't have uh, very good skills uh, diagnosis ng disability ng but especially when it pertains to to the mind. Uh, how, would you like to comment is um pa, paano yon uh, if uh, experience have you experienced dealing with a special child na wrongly diagnosed um actually so far wala pa uh, uh unang di ko rin na lang kung uh, you know um uh, I have more experience than hindi na diagnosed early on. But uh, yung, uh, it's hard to say kung ano yung wrong na diagnosis. No? Um, the, yung, so sa so developmental, so the mga developmental disabilities, yung label minsan uh, not as important as uh, siguro yun yung uh, interventions na gagawin mo. So, so most of the times, kung hopefully kung major behavior therapy, kung tawag ng cognitive behavior therapy, so okay naman siya. Ang mahirap is kung merong medication na ibibigay and then wrong, diagno wrong diagnosis. So, um, so, so that could also be detrimental kung may medication involved. Um, otherwise, kung behavior therapy, so I think it should, wala akong nakikita masyadong harm. Kung, let's say, nasa spectrum yung disability niya. Ako naman kasi, I'm, I'm worried about the labels. Like, for example, if a child is labeled with learning disability, parang, Yung label, the label itself, um, reinforces the idea that uh, I have a disability. But pero baka wala, baka genius pala yung bata. I mean, hindi ba? Or or maybe uh, the child learns slowly. Pero meron cases na sinasabi na ano eh, give up ka na, kanya na talaga yan. <laughs> uh, Wala na yan, hanggang dyan na lang yan. Parang ganun eh. Uh, I don't know. I, ju I'm, I just feel na sana uh, merong, we have access to doctors, more access to doctors who can give accurate uh, diagnosis of disability ng bata. And uh, more parents, more parents who will be able to you know, understand their their child more, be more patient. <laughs> You're not giving up, ah. they're not giving up. Really, Except they're no, not. Oh. In purpose of uh, identification, chaka diagnosis release to provide service. So, uh, hopefully, hindi siya mali label, uh, hopeless. <laughs> so, this will be more of a symptom of. Uh, Social uh, problem. So, um, re really, good. if you look into history, uh, you know, special needs are marginalized. 
So so just lately lang na as a as a as a social institution or tayo as a you know as a group na in acknowledge natin yung um mga iba't ibang identities ng mga ta you know, of course, may mga gender awareness. Yung tayo, kasama na rin yung, ano, kasama na rin actually yung uh, disability awareness. Come to think of it, lahat tayo may some form of disability. So, um, we need help in, 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 in whatever that is. You know? But uh, of course, uh, right now, meron na tayong officially sa DSM, about 14 of them na yun yung may label. And then, may corresponding label, ito yung services na nakapagawin. Uh, but, uh, but uh, again, it's a, it's a social, ano eh, <laughs> running a problem. Uh, hopefully, we can eventually uh, transcend those, get out of. Well, Joey, I, I've met a parent. Uh, I've met the child. Dito lang sa Zoom din naman. Uh, I felt that the I felt that the child can can explore more independent activities from the mother. Medyo may age na yung son niya eh. 28 na ya, 28, 28 na yung son niya. Okay, pero labeled siya as, uh, you know, uh, autism ganyan. But so the mother uh, is so protective, so protective. Ayaw niya <laughs> mawala, sinusundo sa school. Ayaw makawalan. sundo sa school. May, may follow up on middle of the day. Uh, would you like to comment sa, sa, sa degree of worry? and ba yung level of worry that the parents should have for their autistic child? And the degree of uh, their freedom that they should give their child to, to you know, to explore on his own? Um, you know, case by case basis, and then, um, but definitely, I would uh, uh, suggest to the parents to look into a situation that wala siya. You know? Ano yung magig ano yung nakikita niya for her child that wala siya doon sa situation. Um, I, I would suggest to that, but there different levels of support. Uh, na, na, ano, na, na isip niya, you know, looking far ahead. Uh, so, kung hindi siya sino yung pwede pa mas close, close dun sa, sa anak niya na pwede makapagbigay ng similar support. You know? uh, and then, yung, kung sino yung next na yun, as far as you can go na pwede may levels of support. But uh, um, actually, most comfortable thing, because as a parent, the status quo, you know, it's a comfort level. Eh, you know? Mahirap niyo malis sa comfort level ng parent. Ito na yung it, it's what what works, but ko ibahen. Um, so kung happy naman yung anak niya sa situation na yon, but ko ibahen, but ko pa siya ko push. So. Um, so I want to say, siguro kahit sabi natin, bigyan natin ng chance yung bata, yung 28 year old na yun, It's a family decision, eh. No? If it's really, if it's sa, if masaya naman yung bata, I wouldn't uh, be con too concerned. Uh, pero if you see a potential na uh, antap na pwede namang, I'd say to explore it. But, I was able to talk to the. I was able to talk to the son with the mother. Oh. It is the son's dream to become a teacher. Dream niya, sinabi niya eh. I want to become a teacher. Tapos, uh, actually, nag-start out siya sa regular school. Mm -hmm. And then, parang nabully siya. So, the mother also opted na ilagay na lang siya sa special school. Mm -hmm. Special education system. So, pero nakausap ko siya, if you want to become a teacher, then you have to go through regular school. Kasi nagawa na niya before eh. So, and then yung mother then also was, uh, yun nga, sabi din ng mother, maybe fault din niya. Actually, may dumating din sa point na ganun eh. Um, for being too protective. So, 
Yeah, you know, we, we uh, I, I encourage yung ano yung mother to give more freedom, and then to the son, uh, if he really wants to become a doc, a, a teacher, try to go back to regular school. Mm-hmm. Y- yun, yun lang, and and I think you you may worry because yung parent, eh, yung mother, really was very worried, and I think the worry also came about because of a label. May mm-hmm. merong merong doctor na naglabel sa kanya na nagdiagnose na ganyan yung case mo. You have some kind of a learning disability. Pero nakausap ko siya. Eh. I I can even show you the video later on. You the other you thing is, uh, yung mga labels at saka, mm-hmm. uh, ano, especially kung labels, officially diagnosed siya, mm-hmm. it would be another story. Pero kung na-label siya, you know, it's not per- it's nothing permanent. You know, um, the, hindi naman, let's say, autism, there is really no cure for autism in the sense na para siyang sakit. It's not a sakit. But uh, people can eventually learn better ways of uh, you know, uh, functioning. So, yung label can remain a label, pero kung, kung na-outgrow naman niya at natuto siya ng ibang skills na, na you know, can make him function in society, then um, it's, it's, a, it's, it's just unfortunate na in, in past niya, ganun ang naging situation. But it's a new, you know, it's easier said than done. Uh, it is a new, you know, you could you could restart, uh, and then don't look don't look back at that uh, sit, at that uh, dramatic experience about being labeled. Uh, it's the same thing to balance the new reality. You know how 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 feasible ba talaga na maging teacher? Uh, yung isang concern ko din pala ay yung um, I think this child is so close to the mother. He's so close to the mother, so much so na I'm feeling ko yung decision making process niya is dependent on the mother's approval. Yeah. Alam mo yon, uh titingin pa sa mother bago sumagot sa tanong ko. <laughs> and uh, so uh, I, I don't know, how do you what do you say to the mother and to the child? yung ganung classing relationship na yung decision making ng ng son is so close to the mother your mother ganun din alam mo paano how, how would you like to comment yeah I mean, sir, I sir pwede ba they... akong dagdagan yung kay sir Joey go ahead yes yeah go ahead go ahead so, go ahead kasi nakita ko yung discussion natin eh it's extreme yung ano eh extreme yung parents no so number one is totally hindi accepted Ito naman, accepted over protection. So, with our organization kasi, ang always we talk to the parents, sabi namin sa kalila, how would your child be when you're no longer there? So, that will actually brought up an open mindset for them na for the, at ang, ang, ang goal kasi ng parents, the mindset of the parents should be for our kids with the special needs to be independent living sa buhay nila. Independent po. Hindi po, hindi po dependent all throughout. So, yung case po kasi yan is there is an incident of physical abuse or verbal abuse. No? Uh, correct ko lang sir, yung bullying kasi, definition of bullying is multiple incident of those kind of things. no So, hindi ba ano sa korte yan? That's, they, they already define it in the law. Bullying is multiple incident even the school. Ah, uh, Tanggapin na natin po na miski po special needs, non-special needs children, uh, there will be incidents of physical abuse, verbal abuse, or bullying or series of those kind of things. Mahirap tanggapin sa parents yun, lalo po sa special needs. No? Like, mm-hmm. bigyan example, 18 years old yung anak ko, up till now, hindi ko matatanggap na mariligawan mga asawa. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> so, so, Babae example, pala yan, ha? <laughs> <laughs> yung learning, oh, yung mindset po kasi ng magulang is supposed to be when I die later, is my kid ready to live on their own? Yeah. And yun po, babalik po tayo ulit doon sa sinasabi natin na the parent, the teacher, the community 
the specialist has to come together. So dapat po yun po yung inclusion eh ng society. Hanggang hindi po natin na-achieve yun, ay magkakaroon po talaga tayong ganyang magulang. And in pertaining mo sa labeling, no, tama si Sir Joey, the label is just for uh, professional labeling po no, ng diagnosis ng doktor is for an appropriate intervention to be given to your kids. At the same time, again, the professional has to talk to the parents and the parents has to talk to the professional. Hand in hand po yan, hindi po pwede professional yan. Parang sinasabi kanina po ng teacher daycare center yung, yung school. At to po yun. <laughs> Ah, pero sa batas po kasi ng school, no, balikan ko sa school, meron po dapat learning individual plan ang mga teachers na binibigay sa mga special needs na bata. O, ikaw, katulad po si teacher, ito sinari natin. 50 student, meron ka dalawang ADHD. Paano kang gagawa po na module para doon sa dalawa? Eh, doon sa 50, 50 nga, di ba na magawa yung itong kulin mo eh. So those are, those are the real scenario. No? Uh, pero meron naman po tayo tinatawag na progressive realization. Yung paunti-unti. So yung sinabi niyo sir na mislabeling, uh, actually po sa pinag-usapan na po ng DOH yan at ng NCDA, mali po kasi yung classification natin ngayon. For us po, tapos po sir Joey, ang learning disability is about reading, math, and abstract reasoning, no? yung geographic. That's LD, no? learning disability. E ngayon kasi po, pag kinlasify, LD agad. Tapos, mas matindi pa po yung mental or yung psychosocial, which is actually discriminating. Sipin nyo, sir. O, 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 eh, si Sir Joey, sabihin ko sa inyo, eh, psychosocial ka eh. So, no, pag tinigyan mo yung ID agad, oh, psychosocial to, baka may bipolar to, schizophrenic to. <laughs> so, meron agad negative thoughts eh. So, those are the things na po na Uh, inaayos na ng gobyerno na pinagdidebatihan na. Kasi hindi po pwede ilagay sa IT. Pagpunta ka sa Merco, psychosocial ka, di ba? <laughs> yung pala, may depression ka lang. Eh sa tingin ng psychosocial, ni lahat nila, ay nako, baka itong praning. Di ba? Baka mamaya, bigla na lang po itong pumatay. <laughs> so, so, those are things. Tama po yung sinasabi nyo. Napaka hirap po sa mga bata ng label na yan. Uh, it actually gives them an idea, uh, special for special kids, no? Pag sinabi na, ay, ASD siya. So, tingin nga, ASD na siya. So, you're limiting. Tama ka, sir. Nililimit nila yung sarili nila, even the parents. Pero one of the things that we did uh, is changing the minds of the parents and the teacher is don't limit the possibility of the kids. Para yung magulang po sinabi nyo, no? Saya, magiging teacher. Kasi there's a lot of ASD We are high punk. Yung iba nga, engineer na eh. Di ba? Imagine, engineer. May DS tayo na lawyer na. So, uh, it's just a matter of having the minds of the parents corrected eh. So, yung intervention po doon sa sinabi nyo na kausap mo sa Zoom, uh, you need to talk to the mother and talk to the uh, to, to, to son. No? Uh, like for example, ito po, realization ko. Yung anak ko po, dati, Atin sundo sa school, okay? Akayin ko yun from uh, sasakyan hanggang gate. Pagsusunduin ko, gano'n. Eh, pinapagalitan ako ni teacher. Kasi 18 years old na eh. So, tama ko Sir Joey, step by step. So, una, pinabayaan ko muna. Di ba? Pero yung mga may distance, tinitignan ko kung tama ang maglalakad, marunong tumawin. Binidyohan ko pa kasi si Mrs. magagalit sa akin pag ginawa ko. May documented proof. O, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Siyempre po, dalawa kayo magdidesisyon. Pero yun po yung experience namin. Nung nakita ko pong, bang magaling eh. Tumatabi po sa bakod, sa, bak sa bakura, sa sidewalk. O doon lahat ang sidewalk natin sa Pilipinas, sa Ipalpak. O rin sa side comment. Pero alam nyo po, yung mga anak po natin, we, don't, we did not realize that they can be independent in doing those little things. Yeah. So, yun po yung encourage namin sa mga magulang. Unti-unti bibitawan. Patulad yan, 28 na, hindi pa makapag-desisyon. Actually, he wants to decide. Pero hindi pa po, sabi yung teaching po ni Sir Joey kanina, hindi po pinapayagan yung sinasabi yung routine na they do it independently on their own. Hindi ni reinforce, pinagalitan. <laughs> so, uh, balik ulit tayo doon na uh, they had to be prompted 
ng magulang. Uh, sayang po yan, no? Kasi uh, kung high pang po, kasi most, most, most AST uh, ay high functional. Uh, meron po kami, may kaibigan ako, Asperger naman siya, no? Yung sinasabi sa Joey, walang emotion. Uh, high pang po, galing ng math, ang galing ng science. Pero pagka kinausap mo, at uh, ibaw, nasaktan ka, ibaw, uh, na natapunan ka ng copy, walang sorry po yun. <laughs> Titignan ka lang. Uh, yun po problema nila. Pero they're very high functional. So fortunately, yung mga magulang po uh, was accepted their kid at an early stage. E ngayon po, e nasa college na. So again, it's a mindset between pag magawa tayong intervention, sabi ni Sir Joey, we had to have the parent the community, the specialist, ay surrounding, the center will be the special need. Kahit pag hindi isang pula component po yun, may hihirapan eh. Ito yun po. Thank you, Arturo. <laughs> okay, si, okay, si Kian. Kian, go ahead. No, sir. Uh, Doon po sa nag-talk kanina, ano po pangalan niyo, sir? Si Joey, kumagun. Si, si Joey. Ah, si... ah, ako, pangalan ko? Hindi, sir. Yung si... bago po sa... Ah, si Arturo. Si Arturo. Ah, si... si Arturo. Si Arturo Kunanan. From, ano, from Montilupa. Gusto ko pong i-share, but for everyone po, I just want to get an insight. Yung pong sinasabi ni sir kanina na mislabeling, labeling, uh, na dapat uh, ang mga special needs with Uh, na, na students or children uh, should go independently but not of course all the time optional uh, kumbaga uh, case to case basis Depende. so sa provision po ng DepEd provision po ng DepEd that no child is left behind yung kanina pong binigay kong question na wala po talagang special facility sa senior high school namin, I, I'm not sure with other schools, for students who are observed of having special needs. Isinasama sila sa mga sudyante na normal. So ano po pa ang insight mo about this one? Is it possible na or positive na isama talaga sila wherein pag-enrollment namin sa Brigada Eskwela, wala namang document to know or assess if the student has a learning disability or mental disability. Mapafound out na lang ni teacher or mag magkakaroon ng konting uh, complain si teacher, makakausap na lang yung magulang, <coughs> pupunta sa magulang, na ganun bala yung problema. So, marami po kasing batang ganito sa public school hindi hindi po ng mga special needs na students sa private school that you can easily assess them at alam mo na kung paano mo i-address or paano yung approach hindi katulad namin na sa public napaka kung mahirap sa bata na malabel or mislabel mahirap din po sa aming mga public teachers so nasa provision na po siya ng DepEd Is there some way to, I don't know, pero syempre ayoko rin magsalita ng hindi, hindi, hindi isang ayon kasi nagtatrabaho po ako sa government. Pero, matatanggal ka ma'am. Sagutin lang po ba yun? <laughs> Sagutin ko po yun, no? Bali, uh, sa DepEd po kasi, uh, gusto nila mag-implement the inclusion without, uh, dalawang factor po yan eh. Una, yung teachers. Are the teachers equipped? Second is, is the environment equipped? Oh, third po, are the student, those student of the special need kid is equipped? So, um, ang gusto lang po kasi ng depth, eh, parang magic. Uh, inclusion. Bahala na kayo mga teachers maganda. So, oh, kasi uh, wala lang ay, 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 evaluation <laughs> na paano mo masasabi ng tayong, sa ganitong klaseng senaryo, di po ba? Meron po tayo sa direct evaluation. Meron po yan. Pero hindi po ginagamit. 
Meron pong depend order with the specific evaluation, yung sinasabi ni Sir Joey kanina, na parang assessment, na pwede po yung mga teachers, kung meron po kayong special SPED teachers, yung may mga masteral po, they're the one that's supposed to assess the high, ano, yung high risk po, te, high risk po, from elementary hanggang high school. Meaning po, yung mga teachers po na may SPED, no? They need to be the one doing the assessment. Meron po tayong mga teachers po sa DEPED, psychometrician, license, yung kanina po, clinical psychology, pwede na yun. Pwede po siyang mag-assess, psychometrician, but may bat po yun. Only clinical psychologists can sign the assessment. Yung po problema sa, sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Hindi po katulad yata sa US, meron na pong uh, para psychiatrist or psychologist, no? na parang technique technician sila to assess. So, dito sa Pilipinas po, developmental pedya, mabibilang mo sa daliri. <laughs> so, kung ma-assess yung bata, one year, one year po, bago ma-schedule yung bata eh. O katulad po yan, high school. Kasi sinabi po ni teacher, no one is left behind. So, elementary po lang yan, ipinasa ng ipinasa, ipinasa ng pinasa, na hindi po nagkaroon ng intervention. So, yan po ginagawa ng ating gobyerno ngayon. Bakit po walang nag enroll na PW sa TESDA, sa CHED, ang dami po nating scholarship. Bakit? May gap. So, yung gap po natin ay uh, inaase. So, babalik kay teacher. Teacher, ang short-term solution dyan, ikaw po mag -ada. Sorry ah. Pero, ikaw, abo, nakita nyo, observe nyo na, may ganun. Then you have to learn it by your own paano yung intervention gagawin mo sa mga student, no? especially the ADHD. Uh, malaking issue po yan sa, sa curriculum, sa, sa depth of bone, depth, depth po. No? Uh, yung ADHD, they always classify them as behavioral anomalities. So they have to be part of inclusion. So hindi sila pepede na uh, kasama. Pero again, I think the teachers with the heart to serve, uh, you, self, you yourself equip yourself no? through this catodary training. No? Maganda, makipag-network tayo kay Sir Joey. Okay, so, thank you po. so much. Thank you, okay, po. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, si uh, Esperanza, may question si Esper uh, Esperanza? May question ka? Esperanza? Si Miss Galaxy. Oh, sige. May may message kasi siya. Pwede pong magpatanong. <laughs> Oo, nakita oh. ko rin. Oh, so si Esperanza. Yes, yes Esperanza. sir, may question po ako. Ayan na. Ayan na. Okay. Sige, go ahead. Ah, uh, sir, okay na? Uh, sige, go ahead. Sige. Okay na po. Okay, okay. 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 Hello? Uh, okay. Sensya na po okay. nakapro Naka-promo yung load, kaya promo lang din yung uh, <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. So, sir, um, yes. Kaya po hindi ko masyadong nasundan dahil promo-promo nga lang din. So, Ayan, medyo may... Sige. Lap Gusto mo isulat yung ano, i-chat mo yung uh, question mo? Oh. Okay, sige. Uh, uh, Esperanza, paki-chat yung ano, yung message mo, yung question mo kasi choppy yung dating talaga. Okay? Chat mo and then babasahin ko. So, si Sister ah, ulit. Si oh, sige. Sige. Sister, sister nag-raise ng hand si Sister. No, pero umalis naman. Ayan. Ulang, may tao lang. Balik ako. Ha? Babalik. Oh, okay. May tao lang. Ha? Ano? Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Sige. Sige. Time first. Sige. Si, uh, si sino ba may mga question pa? Sige. So far, um, okay. So, uh, oh boy. Sige. Go ahead. No, so just uh, you know, yung time frame lang. So maybe kung yung group nyo could do the discussion, tapos uh, and then I can go. 
Um, mm. So I'll leave. Um, and this, kung mayroon din questions na lang, I can answer siguro uh, online or something. Oh, so, yeah. Keep the discussion going. Correct. We have uh, gone two hours and a half na. Tapos yung magtatanong <laughs> ay... Uh, sister natin <laughs> we can she can probably ask it uh, privately na lang muna sige so uh, uh you, sige, you, can your, you can keep your discussion going kaya ako then um since i know you baka meron forum na pwedeng yung gawin for uh, discussion oh and that, uh, we cannot do anything without you. <laughs> Ikaw aming resource person. Yeah. Ikaw aming yeah. key resource person. Sige, so forward na lang namin yung question privately sa'yo later on. Uh, uh, sige, so we have to end this session now. Two hours and a half. Thank you for for participating. Thank you, old boy, for your time, oh, your service. Your... Question. Uh, yan? May, may, yan? Sino to? Sino? Girl, oh, Esperanza. Ah, sige, Esperanza. Laki. Okay, go ahead, Esperanza. Sige. Oh, ay, sige. May, may appointment ka ba, Joey? May appointment uh -huh. ka? May appointment ka? Wala, wala. Wala naman. Uh, wala naman. Sige, sige. Okay. Sige, sige, sige. Oh, sige. Esperanza, go ahead, Esperanza. Uh, yun, sir. Uh, nasa regular school po kasi anak ko. Semi-private po siya. 15 po sila sa classroom. So, wala po uh -oh. siyang choice kundi sumunod sa curriculum dahil syempre po regular school yun. Medyo hirap uh -oh. po na mag-adjust yung anak ko. So, paano po ba ang uh, dapat gawin? Although, yung mga teachers naman po is uh, na iniintindi naman siya. Medyo dinadali-dalian. Kaya, hindi mo na ano na ko so paano sa part ko po ano po sa teachers po nila niya okay oh boy na ko mo yung question may part lang na miss ako uh, sige basahin ko yung message niya nag-message siya kasi dito nasa regular school po anak ko semi private 15 po sila and wala po choice kundi sumabay sa curriculum Paano po maganda gawin? Hirap po anak ko. Mm -hmm. Message niya sa atin. Yung sabi, semi-private. Semi semi-private. Na special ed oh. school? Semi-private. Uh, nasa regul nasa regular, regular school po anak ko. Regular. Semi-private. Semi 15 po sila. Okay. Pero hindi, pa, hindi siya nakaka-keep up ng sa ano. Oo, hirap. Yung uh, anak pa niya is uh, may yeah. diagnosis na special needs? Um, I, th I yes, I think so. Oh, oh the, yes. The reason I, I asked that because if there is a diagnosis, then usually there is an entitled child to an individualized education plan. So, yung kung at least yung so yung uh, special needs, kung may special needs teacher don or yung uh, the. Uh, Kung sino man ang nakapag-diagnose sa kanya, has to come up with an educational plan for him. And then, ideally, yearly, uh, ini-evaluate siya as far as progress. So, uh, kung uh, continuously ma-assess yung situation niya in different areas, and then mas ma-provide siya ng more specific uh, interventions or uh, help. You know. So, at the same time, napaprioritize kung ano yung mas kailangan ng bata. And then of course, uh, again, after assessments, considering kung ano yung preferences niya in terms of strengths, areas of strengths, needs, uh, uh, learning preferences. And then ano din, yung mga, ano din yung mga weak areas niya na kailangan niya maka-catch up. So yun yung... Na-diagnose daw na ASD. Oh boy. Okay. Na-diagnose na ASD. I say, entitled siya sa isang IEP individualized education plan so um normally as far as i know kasama sana yung parent dun sa team na yun so may message oh we boy may yeah. additional message wala po sped teacher regular teacher lang po mga teachers niya 
I see. So yung fro, kung yung kung saan na diagnose yung anak niya, meron bang uh, plan yung doctor na yon o yung, yung developmental uh, tawag sa kanya um, psychologist na indicating ano yung mga areas of strength, ano yung mga areas of weakness, kung ano yung rep- Uh, let's say, kung merong academic evaluation ba, let's say, saan siya mababa? Is it in reading, in math? Mm-hmm. Ano yung mga aptitudes niya? Ano yung mababa? Ano yung mataas? And then, kung meron siyang report from that, yung nag-diagnose sa kanya na pwede niyang mabigay sa teacher. Um, at least, mas, mas maging pinpoint yung ma-address kung saan, ano yung pangangailangan ng bata. And of course, that's a, again on the something na mer na 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 address yung mga specific academic needs ng bata. And this is primarily academic too, ha. Huh? Um, of course, siguro meron pang ibang mga non academic needs ng mga bata uh, in terms of physical or uh, uh, social emotional. So yun. So, so I wanna say na meron supposedly may complete assessment yung bata of, as far as educational needs na pwede niya mapakita sa teacher and then provide special services. Ngayon kung, uh, kasi kung uh, it's a regular education setting tapos it's very specific needs ng sudyante tapos walang special needs teacher um, Um, medyo challenging yung situation na yun for the teacher kasi mga nga pa yung teacher yan, anong, anong gagawin niya kung wala siyang training to address that. Okay boy, may additional message siya. Meron, yeah. meron naman po sinabi ang dev, pedi- ped- dev pediatrician ba to? Oh. Dahil hirap sa math, pinagagamit sila calculator. Okay, good. So yung mga tawag dun, yung mga accommodations, So um kung, kung acceptable yun sa sa setting nila then why not? Oo. Oh. Uh, Sir Joey, ito ko lang po yung experience. Okay lang po ba? Sino ta? Kian po. Si Kian, Kian, go Kian. ahead Kian. Ah. Sir, di ba na bagit ko ako kanina na ganun po. Lakang camera Kian. Kian may camera ka? Meron po sir. Ah. Hi sir, uh, share ko lang po uh, na uh, di ba meron pong uh, collaborative activities sa school madalas sa, sa public setting. Kasi siguro meron din sa private setting po yun. Yung differentiated instruction po. Mm-hmm. So, syempre as the teacher, kahit wala ka namang training, of course, as a teacher nyo po, meron pa talaga dapat ding background in facilitating how to handle this kind of situation. So, fashion, yeah, fashion. bata, kung saan siya capable of doing, saan siya mas madali. So, sa collaboration po, magkakaroon ng peer tutoring. Okay lang po ba yun, Sir Joey? Oh, definitely. Oh. Mm-hmm. Peer tutoring po. And then, syempre, Uh, additional time for the future, mag- mag-render ka talaga ng uh, additional time. Like, yeah. one in the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yung differentiated instruction is actually recommended siya even for general ed. Um, so, oh, no. so uh, address mo basically lahat ng levels and then on a systematic manner. Um, usually kasi yung iba may bell curve lang tayo that is for differentiated instruction meron ka ng sistema on how to address all kinds of uh, needs um, and depending lang sa disability ng bata kung very highly specialized yung uh, needs ng mga bata but uh, sabihin natin you know, nakaka-integrate naman yung estudyante yung bata dun sa isang uh, uh, general ed setting I think differenti- differentiated instruction works. And for the information of everyone, yung differentiated instruction, uh, it's, a, it's an effective instruction, uh, 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 best practice siya uh, to address yung mga specific needs ng mga bata in one uh, setting. So kanina nababanggit yung inclusion, uh, So it's a good approach for a school with an inclusive model. 
uh, for differentiated instruction. Mal maraming trabaho para sa isang teacher. Uh, normally, ang good uh, model for my inclusion is meron kang support teacher in the, in the classroom. So, pero sometimes kung nag-iisa lang yung teacher, tapos uh, that is a good number, 15, I think baka workable yan for, for a differentiated instruction. Tapos yung anak niya in that setting, uh, it's a good environment. I wanna recommend that class school for keeping it at that number, the 15. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm. Torong. Uh, Maris, Maris, go na. Maris, go na. Ah. Na ako question ko lang. Uh, actually, not for not for the parents. Ani, pan ba yun? Um, how do you explain? Bawa yung may normal child, makakita siya na ba? Man nag-act up na na bata na ano mo ako as a parent or ano mo explain dun sa anak ko na normal? yung kondisyon ng bata. Yeah. So, I guess speaking of inclusion, meron din tayong ano yun, concept, ah, concept na reverse inclusion. So, yung mga, yung mga general uh, population or students with, with uh, no, special, no disability, sila yung ilagay mo dun sa majority na mayroong special needs. Um, um, malaman na, na, ano, na, 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 na these people actually are, are have a specific uh, needs. You know? So you, a lot of it really is education to so general public. Uh, patterns of uh, behavior minsan na pwede mo makita sa isang uh, label or diagnosis. Again, it's pretty much just, a, just basic information pero still focus on individuality ng, 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 ano, ng bata, ng sudyante. You know? I would focus really on more on the behaviors you know? um, versus the diagnosis. You know? Um, kung halimbawa sabi mo para dun sa mga bata na hindi nila alam about uh, special needs no? kasi other than other than the unusual unacceptable behaviors na pwede nilang mapansin the, the, the he's still a he's still a, a, parang a, a nice person inside you know? pwede pa rin pwede, rin, pwede pa rin maglaro sila together and then, yung uh, say sa to another child. Um, mas kilangan lang ng support din, of course, ng uh, batang with special needs you know, on learning how to play. Kasi minsan yun ang kanilang sa, sa non-special needs, automatic, matututunan nila how to interact in a play situation. Pero sa isang batang with special needs, hindi automatic nilang natututunan yun. Kailangan explicit tuturuan sila na ito yung kailangan mong gawin. Ano, kapag may nas tumba o pag may nasaktan, tutulungan mo, magkasay kang sorry, parang ganun. Yung mga specific na instruction, it's very explicit. Ganun. Sa non-special needs uh, na bata, automatic na pick up nila yung social cues. Again, for, na, for special needs, hindi automatic yung social cues na yun. Uh, and then it could require some explicit instruction. But otherwise, they could play together, you know? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So thank you, old boy. Um, okay, we've gone 12.42 now. <laughs> uh, by the way, lunch, lunch is served in uh, Joey Kumagun's uh, residence. <laughs> So, uh, in California. <laughs> so we will go there. <laughs> may, may bago tayo, yes, may bago tayong arrivals, si Loella, Olbok, and Dep Ed. Would you like to 
Uh, would you like to ask a question, si Loella and Dep Ed? Yes. Okay. Si, si Dep Ed muna, Dep Ed. Anong name mo, Dep Ed? <laughs> sir, so, sir, sorry, na-late talaga ako, sir. Uh, no problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, would you like to ask a question or uh, comment? Uh, <laughs> regarding po sa aming mga students, uh, our problem talaga, sir, is uh, materials. Also, yung pag-handle sa kanila, uh, so far naman, uh, naibigay naman namin yung mga strategy. But sometimes yung ibang cases talaga, hindi talaga namin kaya. Okay. So, uh, we need more, ano po sir, yung mga more strategies po in handling them. Baka ba yung okay. naibigay po ba yung mga, uh, yun sir, mga procedure kung paano namin sila ma- Especially, sir, yung mga yung bata talaga na sobrang nagwawala, yung autism, non-verbal. Sige. Ka, ka, oh, hindi, I, I, yung ano, sige. Um, yung yung lecture ni, ni Joey Kumagun, I will share, Joey will give me the, by the way, this video is recorded. You can, uh, very extensive yung uh, strategies, uh, yung roadmap na pinakita ni Joey kanina. Uh, you, you can uh, watch this later. And then, of course, later on, we can have more activities, uh, more specific strategies pa siguro. Okay? okay. okay. Yeah, thank you. Anong, anong, an, anong, anong role mo sa DepEd? Meron ka bang... Uh, position sa Dep Ed anong wala po sir <laughs> teacher wala lang po. Teacher, teacher lang teacher, teacher lang po sir ay ah, okay saan saan ka nagtuturo sa Nasugbu East Central School ah Nasugbu Batangas kanina may lipa <laughs> opo sige okay thank you anong name mo Luella Olbok po sir ay ah, may kasi may isang Luella, Luella Olbok, Olbok pa dito Ikaw din ito? May isang lowelo. <laughs> ako lang po yun, sir. Ikaw rin to. Ayun. Kuguluhan ako sa kung saan ako eh. Oo. <laughs> Dalawa yung video mo dito eh. May isang lowelo. Ayun, isang dead end. <laughs> okay. Nagamit kasi ako, sir, ng laptop and then phone. I see. Okay. Talaga. Sige. Okay. So, 12.45 na. I'm sure uh, everybody's hungry except... <laughs> Okay, eh, sige, we have to wrap up na. Owi boy, uh, Joey, kumagun, uh, I'd like to express my deepest uh, gratitude for giving us your time, your knowledge, your expertise. Okay. Um, any final words before we wrap up, Joey? Salamat sa lahat and just uh, really, uh, you know, um, acknowledge ko lang din now. All of you guys are doing a great job uh, supporting people with disabilities, so um, it's uh, it's about time, especially the Philippines, then to advocate for persons with disabilities for services yes. that they need. So um, I appreciate and acknowledge everything that you're doing. Yeah, all right. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, everybody. Thank yeah. you for joining this uh, this webinar, this meeting. I'm so happy I've met uh, a lot of you. Okay, so wrap up na tayo. We're ending our live broadcast. We're ending our... Thank you, everybody. Yes, Thank you, bye. everybody. Thank bye -bye. you, Joey. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. -bye. bye. 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 See you for some more sessions. <laughs>